Hello, hello. Looks like we're live. Uh, the, a couple of things to figure out that the, the camera was, I don't know, it was just being a little funky. And, and so I had to work on that. And then, uh, yeah, I was actually talking to Tony a little bit before starting. Sounds like he's having a pretty good time out in Hawaii. <laughs> and uh, just wanted to check in, check up a little bit. So it's, uh yeah, got a couple of things. I... Now ready to go. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I was playing a little bit of bullet on my personal account and I tilted I tilted so badly. Ugh, tilted so much. I yep. Mm-hmm. Very, very much tilted. But last night was bullet night. I don't know why I'm playing bullet today, because the night is blitz night. This not good. I gotta get this up. 27, 22. Hopefully it's, tonight is the night, you know, hopefully tonight is the night and because last night came with a bullet arena for bullet night tonight. I have a blitz arena ready to go starting a little bit earlier, but going longer. I have knight c6, bishop d7. And we do the thing. John A. Smith, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Ah. Uh, is this not an issue with with stuff? I feel like I feel like it should be an issue. I'm gonna find out. Let's let's find out. I guess he does have like bishop takes, but I feel like it's worth it. Oh. Oh so. Huh. Look at this. Uh, I do have. <laughs> Let me actually get the music going. What the heck? I, I here I have I have it all set up. I just haven't pushed. Uh, I just haven't pushed play, which is you know that's on me. Big dogs, Dubsworth. How's it going, John? I'm doing pretty well. doing pretty well other than uh i uh, no 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 it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's just it's it's just the it's just the recommendation you know no no issues here we're we're chilling we're we're chilling pushing pawns not pushing play not bad not bad not bad is better than bad it's okay, John. I didn't see the knight hitting at the end either. Uh, what a <laughs> what a lucky set of circumstances. Uh, hey, Spency. Good to see you too. Welcome. Mm, oh, I got it. Let's go. Let's go for Bishop G four. Better than bad is next to good. Yeah, I mean, it basically is good if you think about it. Then I think I throw this in. Try and force the queen here. Okay, that's fine. Because this is still hanging. <laughs> yeah, good good thing. We got we got all the GM calculations. Got all the uh, actually let's just drop back. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too fancy. Maybe I should have gone fancy. Mm. Alright, let's take there. And just casually, you know, pretend like everything's fine. Yeah. Mm hmm Wait. Uh foo, 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 foo. What is the move? Here? Maybe. Maybe it's there. I, I I think after this, then I play queen d6. Like I need the queen to move, otherwise queen takes a2 is an issue. So I, I try I try to uh, encourage the queen to go elsewhere and then and then we can play queen d6 and the bishop just kind of holds down all of the things. 
And he's just gonna say I get to go there and there are no big deals happening. Is that really how life works? You just get to go there and say there are no big deals. But what if like, there totally were some big deals? What if I go, I go hard after this knight? Does knight e6 not work instead of rook c7? Wait, knight e6? No, I think I, 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 it's a good idea, but I think I can throw in queen b6 first and then take. Because you have the double thins, right? Okay, he's going to casually... He's just going to casually move his king. I'm just going to casually protect my pawn. Ooh, queen f2? Hold on. Hold on a minute. What the actual... Dude, ah, I couldn't find it. No way. What the? Dude, that was just the play. King h6. Wow. Whew. Oh, thank you, duel. That was, that was, uh, that was nice, actually. He wants to negotiate. Grind a 3,000 blitz. I, I, you know. Probably not tonight, but we, 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 we start with that game. Mm -hmm, that game exists. We're starting with it, technically. And uh, we'll go from there. Hey Mia, how are you doing? I mean, technically you can take the pawn. <laughs> uh, I definitely BS that a little bit. I, I mean, he could probably get away with night takes. I, it's, it's not like the end of the world. I do get some positional compensation, but... Do I get full positional comp? Wait, take your pawn structure though. Is this really okay? He, he's okay with it. All right. He's okay with it. What? Mm, I guess. Really want to sack. How am I, Mr. 3K Bullet? I, I'm doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. We're chilling. We're we're kind of chilling. We're like a little bit chilling. Still so humble. Wait. Am I? 
When are you gonna tell me, Mia? All right, all right. He backed down. That's good. A little back down. A little back down goes a long way. Ooh, ooh, just a little back down. Now, now, now he's he's ready. Actually, let's do it. I like he could go after that pawn, but it's it's a bit it's a bit difficult for him to really go after that pawn the way he wants to go after that. Yeah, I, I think I think I'm like five percent overthinking this. I don't know. I just don't, I just don't I just don't know what he's doing over there, honestly. You know, <laughs> I, I I I'm not positive if he's just trying to defend. I, I think I'm just gonna go for it. Just go for it. Worry about the consequences later. That's how chess works. It's kind of coming together. The pin, the pin, the nasty pin. Okay, and now we clean up. Now, what's he going for now? What? Psych. All right, all right. Yeah, I don't know where that knight's going, but. I guess I'm gonna try and stop it. Oh! Oh shoot, that was so bad. What the heck? Wait, 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 we save it with this move. Oh, we save it with that move. Rook D1. Ah, ah. I was just trying to trade. Oh, no. It's not saved. It's, in fact, not saved. All right, we're going for it. Yippee kayak. Uh, what was I trying to do? I, I don't know. That's a good question. I was trying not to draw because... So I was trying to trade pieces, first off, with with B7. And then I was trying to prevent Rook at 9F1. And then, uh, yeah, I was trying to lose, I think. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> be kayak, mother father. Uh, pretty much, but in like such the worst way. As long as I'm trying, you guess. Thank you, Mia. I feel like you are trying to support me. Uh, and we're both doing about as well. Let's sneak this around to get rid of the pressure. <laughs> it's not either of our strong suits. That's fair. All right. There's something here. Is there nothing here? Maybe there's nothing here. Still go for the trades. 
Oh, all right, all right. No, 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 no. This is this is fine. This is fine. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? We go. Let's go here, actually. C5. And now we'll go after this. I mean, if he took, that would have been a really nice square for my knight, with him not taking. With him not taking, what's what's going on here? Okay, yeah, let's play rook c8. I want to take here, but I also don't want to allow here, so... Oh, yes, Miles, it is a Blitz Arena, and it starts in 30 minutes. Thank you for the raid. Hey, 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 speaking of, everybody, loud sound warning. Guess what? I did a thing, because before I, I had to change, I had to change scenes to get the thing, and now, now I think I figured out how to just put it on my normal scene. Uh, what are we doing here? By the way, what's going on? But thank you so much for the raid. Just for you, Mia. Just for That's the raid shark. Welcome. I guess I gotta go for this. I guess I gotta go for this, and we gotta play this. Hey, Yara, welcome, welcome. How are you doing this fine Thursday night? Ah, we gotta pick up the pace or my opponent's just gonna try to flag me. Oh, wait, wait. How do we feel about this? How do we feel about this? This is progress. This is progress. I don't know if it's a ton of progress, but it's progress. Too long time. Ah, sheesh. Ah, no. Ah. Thirty. 
I was making progress in that rook end game too. That was. Ah, why am I so slow? Oh shoot, I got. I... <laughs> Wait, I made a mistake. I was looking for a game within 400 points of me, and I hit like the absolute precipice. You found a sick collectible snowboard on Marketplace. Hey, don't cry wolf. Are you a big snowboarder? JBS, good evening. Welcome. Tilted and lost 100 ELO. That sounds probably like something I would do right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm, uh... I've been tilting a little bit tonight. Ah, did he, did he really get away with that? Dang. It's, it's mildly convincing. One of those nights. Uh, what, uh, what time control, JBS? You know the best way to overcome tilts is to keep playing. <laughs> we have a blitz arena. You should join. Oh, wait. You were a snowboard mountaineer in the Teton range for 12 years. Not sure if you're going back yet, but you collect and sell old snowboards. That's pretty cool. Ten O Rapid switch to three two blitz. The arena link is pinned. If, if you can't see it there, it's like I'm gonna copy it, and it is there. Mm. I just don't believe in this. This just yeah. Let's disrupt that. Let's attack that. I don't know. I'm just going to start throwing pieces and somewhere I'm going to beat this guy. Right? That's that's the technique. Flawless. Flawless strategy. Uh, actually, this does work. It's kind of lame, but if he takes, takes, queen takes, then I just win. I just win material. Whoa. JBS was also a snore. Snore snowboard oh god <laughs> wait i just insulted that um snowboard instructor nice uh oh ho ho Miles, thank you for the resubscription. Much appreciated, my friend. Patchamus Prime. Okay, wait, I gotta I gotta reconsider. I'm gonna keep playing some blitz, but I want my I need I need my rating range to be within 200. Mr. President, welcome, welcome. Wait, Patchamus Prime. Patch miss, patch miss. I mean, obviously it's a play on Optimus, but where where do you get patch from? What's what's the significance? I like the name, but I want to love the name. All right, you ready? You guys ready for this? I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this guy alive. The freaking bird memes. We're gonna we're just we're gonna we're gonna we're just gonna. Do the thing. Mm -hmm. We are doing the attacking thing. See, he's going to take here thinking I have problems with this pin. Not realizing that my whole plan. Oh, lame. He didn't take there. Maybe, maybe I should actually. What should I do? What should I do?
Mm. Actually, yeah, take a knight g5. Yeah, take a knight g5. The patch is from one of your dogs that passed away. Oh, that's super. Well, okay. That name, that is, uh, that is cool that you're able to incorporate that. But it's already, it's already here your dog died. Hut and Chess, how's it going? First time chatter, watch out. Let's, uh, oh, at Bishop F5, how do we feel about that? I do not like it. Let's go sneaky. Let's let's bring the queen over here to harass just a little bit on these squares. 3-1 for the time control. And chess, you, you an arena fan. You gonna step into the ring and throw down the gauntlet? What, what can we do with this knight? Whoa. How much for a second? Let's be mindful of uh, issues here. Uh, JBS, I do coach. However, I take... St oh, shoot. No, this is fine. This is fine. I actually I actually think him winning the exchange will, will be good for me. Like, technically, no, but practically, just to have some more better pressure on these light squares. Like, let's do this now. And, um... How, how bothered am I by night before? Like, like 5%, at least. Oh, I kind of want to go for it. I, I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to play a queen g1. I'm going to let him play this, and then I'm just going to yippee kayak. The daily chess championship. Comment first. I am not a. I am not a daily player. Okay, I I play chess daily. I don't do daily chess. It's uh, it's kind of brutal, like very, very uh, extended period of time to play games. And... Not always my jam. Occasionally. Occasionally. <laughs> Asking JBS how he decided his name, you know? Ah, uh, that actually does look kind of convincing. I don't know. I'm not sure how how JBS possibly have come up with that name. It's okay. It's okay. But we can we can live with this. Oh, he was quick. Oh my gosh. Wow, he was not phased at all. He was ready for it. What the heck? This guy is like zoned. He's in the zone. I'm like, please don't hurt me. I'm enjoying the facts. I can't shorten it to JBS. <laughs> uh. Why? Whoa, whoa. Why would I ever call him that? No, never. Sheesh, Hutton Chess. Gotta drop that on us. Ugh. Yeah, um, this is not good. Run! Oh, wait, wait. We can, we can figure this out. We can figure this out. Stop pre-moving stuff. Oh, oh, 93. He wasn't ready for that one. Oh, now we're attacking there. Now we're gonna keep attacking. Oh, oh that's work. That's work. Uh, 
Uh, I think I can remove that, yeah? Yeah. No, why would you play that? Dude, the pre-moves, no way, what? Those pre-moves were so good, what the heck, dude? Ah. Okay, I could have taken the queen, but... <laughs> ah, that was respectable, what the heck? Can't flag anybody today. <laughs> no, I just, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not ignorant, but we do try and keep it at least a little bit more family friendly, a little bit. Ah, I almost had him there. Guys, join the arena. I, uh, I'm not playing my best tonight, so take me down. Come on. Kingsley, <laughs> Tony and I are here to keep you safe from the ghost of the office Christmas. Okay, so uh, as I was saying at the beginning, I, I was talking to Tony right before I went live a little bit. He was just checking in. And I was telling him, like, straight up, I've never, never batted an eye at being in the office building late at night. Never, never once, like, worried about it in any way, shape, or form. Until I got here and I'm by here by myself. Uh, and now that I'm by myself, I tell you, it's so creepy. <laughs> like, complete extreme. Just, you know, complete extreme of like, yeah, but am I about to die right now? Whoa, Kingsley, owning up to uh being high wow uh Hutton, so the arena link is there the arena starts in 13 minutes now uh if it gives you any issues with joining that's because you need to join the chess talks club on chess.com the link to it is there my opponent's thinking real hard um it's a very it's actually pretty simple yeah 94 he's gonna play rook takes probably um oh whoa Ah, that was confident. All right, I picked that up. And his goal is to trap my knight. That's his goal. He's he's believing in the knight trappage, but I just play f4, and that's kind of the end of the conversation. Queen to c4, okay. Better pawns, up a pawn. Should be clean. Should be clean. Let's casually play queen d7. Queen f5. Again, super casual. Nothing going on here. Definitely not hoping for this move. Whoa, Kingsley may not be coming back. He He's a, he's a Hawaiian now. Kind of sad. I don't feel like I really have. Oh no, never mind. I have. I have some ideas of an attack. I got. I got at least one idea. Ooh, he's gonna bring his knight in. That looks pretty interesting. I agree that it's it's not a bad idea. So I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare f5. Yeah. For 
protecting that way, huh? Alright, put my king there. Okay, this was my whole game plan. The whole thing coming together for this, he's got to take, I take the knight. And then I'll swing my bishop back this way. Maybe I should have even put my bishop here in the first place. That might have been more convincing. Kaden, I am Ohana. I'm half Hawaiian, basically. All right, good to know, Kingsley. Good to know. Uh, preemptively go here, because bishop f6, there are some issues with queen f8, because king g5 there, he has h4. Yeah, I, very simple idea, I'm just attacking that pawn, that's it. Alright, we got 10 minutes, Let's see if he'll give me a rematch, I gotta get back over 2700. And I definitely would be happy to do it playing this guy, because I'm a little, I'm a little upset about that first loss. I wanted to destroy him, and it did not pan out. Ah, oh, he is going to hit me with choose an opening. Gosh. I wonder what it could be. Can we pretend and sack? Uh, I don't know. It it's, seems highly suspect. Highly suspect. Oh, Tony in chat too? Wait, Tony, are you going to play in the arena? I like how Mia doesn't even specify the opening anymore. It's just, it's just known. One day she's gonna ask for an opening that's not the Queen's Gambit. But. Oh, quantum check. No, you lost in round five. Ah, oh, dang, sorry to hear it. That was, that was this game. How many bits for you to play in the arena? Why would you drop your amazing name? Sinister Miles, come on! It's you, but it's more sinister. It's the perfect combo. I mean, like, don't cave to peer pressure, but... Minister Miles! Come on! Peer pressure! About to go to dinner. Ah, uh, what a sad guy. Here I thought we were finally going to see at least a little bit of Tony again. But no, just the memory of Tony. Uh, let's start with this, I think. F3. Because I, I kind of want the knight there, so if he plays E5, I have something convenient to take. And now here... You know, I think it's coming together. Yeah, Tony, you really, I mean, what what's eating? What What's eating? It's just something we do every day. Go against the monotony. Fight the system, Tony. I 
five o'clock mints. Wait, <laughs> what mints are we talking? Oh, five minutes till it starts. Oh, you're giving us a countdown. Ah, <laughs> I got there eventually. Okay, this, this should just be better, right? I'm not down a pawn anymore. And the, the pawn structure is like, his pawn structure is an absolute nightmare. What are these? What are these pawns? Let's, let's go eat them. Mm. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what's that about food again? Oh, actually, let's start here to give my king some space. The five minutes warning. I like it. <gasps> oh, what? Oh, okay. He missed it. I just uh, kind of spaced out that move. Rook C4. What a, what a sneaky little trap that would have been. Oh, uh, he's just trying to flag me. What a, what a donut. Come on, just trying to flag me, punk. Get out of here. Okay, maybe not. It was kind of the smart play, but like, get out of here. <laughs> oh. oh no, we only have three people in the arena. Yeah, uh, JBS. Yeah, I did. I did. I, it, have you ever seen Gordon Ramsay say it? That's kind of where I picked it up from, and it's it's. Uh, to me, it's kind of like the perfect insult. It's kind of the perfect insult. Ah, uh, no, Sinister, you gotta go. It's okay. If uh, we don't got enough people for the arena, that's fine. We'll just chill anyways. I gotta, I gotta actually like get my rating up. Yeah, he calls people idiot sandwiches, but I feel like it's in a lot of his TikToks. He, uh, I've heard him call people a donut quite often. And <laughs> it's just, it's just a lot of fun to say. <laughs> Ugh. No offense, but it's a lot of fun to call people uh, a donut. You should try it sometime. It's kind of universal. Like, it could be seen as, as like a pretty chill thing. And it could be seen as like a pretty intense thing. I will call anyone that flags me a donut for now on. Now you're talking, JBS. All right, one minute. We're going to see. The arena, yeah, the arena might be canceled, y'all. That's fine. I just wanted, because last night we did the bullet arena, I wanted to uh, I wanted to give the option, because people insist that they like Blitz. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a particular believer, you know, sometimes, but that's how it is. That's how it is. We'll see, 20, 25 seconds. Oh, baby B is in chat with such a bad headache. Sorry to hear it, baby B. Pray for you. Okay. To the almighty Hikaru. Oh, shoot. All right. 
Well, I guess I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep playing. Gonna keep playing games then. Uh, we'll have to. We'll, we might have to shoot for an arena another night then. Ah, oh, shoot. Hey, uh, V bot, send me the challenge again. I'll accept it. Is that you, JBS? Uh, Chess.com has been having this funny like issues with challenges where like if you do not accept it right away it like disappears i don't know i don't know what's up with that but it's been kind of an issue i'm not looking hard enough i look I, what do you mean i'm not looking hard enough what, what do you mean that's I, I i literally was showing people my screen earlier today it's been an issue all day what do, what do you mean Mia, you get on chess.com, I'll send you a challenge, and let's see what happens. Five bucks says you won't. Oh, okay, she's sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> what? Nothing? Never mind. <laughs> ah, freaking Tony, why are you on the chess dog account? That's why I hate this. I hate it so much. It's so dumb. It's so freaking confusing. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, Mia. That's my bad. No, I, I, I'm mad at Tony. That's who I'm really mad at. Him and his freaking chess dog sign-ins. It's so easy to switch. I, 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 it is so easy. It is like the easiest thing you'll ever do in life. And it makes my life so much easier. Okay, I'll be gone soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go eat your, go eat your Hawaiian points. Hawaiian food. Hawaiian points. Gosh. Uh, rook on a4 though all right all right this 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 gotta be coming to the theaters near you soon right yeah Yep, there it is. Good, right? Probably. Slurp, slurp. God. Oh no! JBS! The checkmate, though. The checkmate. Again, again, and then Baby B. Uh, da, 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 e3 g4 huh this is normal I think this is normal All right, let's drop back because there's some nasty 95 stuff with the bishop pins. Hey, hey, BB Bamps in chat. Infected mushroom playing. Wait, whose mushrooms infected? Wait. Does this work? Is this about to be real nasty? I 
think this queen's trapped. Queen a4, only square, right? And then bishop b3. Uh -uh, look harder. What? He has one more square. What? Wait, 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 wait. Baby B, baby B. What? Oh, oh. But then Bishop B4. We're going to pretend like I saw that. It was real nasty. <laughs> then C5, then Bishop B, then D takes C5. No, no, he's not fine. D takes e5. Knight takes, right? Rook c1. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here. He's fine. No. He's losing. It was pretty... Don't you take this moment from me. Not knight takes. Well, then you're just down a pawn. And I take on a7. You're down two pawns. Those two pawns were the most important pawns. You're crying a little bit on the inside. Hey, I'm not bad. How's it going? Well, at least, yeah, you're right. No, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm BSing you a little bit. Just a little bit. I, I don't know. I totally spaced queen d6. I'm not bad. How are you? And if you say I'm good, we might need to have a conversation about your username. But, you know, feel free to say it anyways. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You're not bad. Yeah, you are. Not bad. I made it. <laughs> I made the joke. How dare you? What's the, what's the Narnia quote? How dare you quote the old magic to me? Which, I was there when it was written. Uh, okay, let's threaten here. Just so my rook's not hanging. Mm. That, that, that's a slight checkmate, my friend. GG, GG. Wow, knight b1 was still the best move, even though we both missed queen d6. Look at that. Feel good. I feel good. Is this a line? This is a line, right? Oh. Yeah, this feels like a line. A line that I'm not sure I want to go into. But we're going to any wait a second. I can take that, can I? I think this is okay. I saw Queen D six, but could not find where to go after oh yeah with c5 well you're you're you already were better than me i didn't even ah i totally spaced queen d6 i got so excited about queen a4 oh gosh oh Wait, how long has this been? One minute. Since the beginning, eh? Oh, 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 a sodium attack. Let's effing go. I enjoy me a good sodium attack. Doesn't make me salty at all.
Uh, I think throw 96, end of check. And, okay, you're going that way. So I got 95. Whoa. Okay. Um, I don't know, baby. Speaking of getting salty, baby B gets a little salty when I play, like, not mainline stuff against him. I don't know. I don't know if he'll appreciate the sodium attack very much. My gut says he won't. Actually, I kind of like this in a weird way. I kind of like it because now I get a take. And go spicy. 95. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second, wait a second, hold on, hold the phone, hold the front door, hold it all. Alright, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna do it. Don't get a, yeah, that's, no, no baby B. Nope, no, get out of here. You gotta let me play my openings, my guy. If you're gonna, if you're gonna abort games, I mean... No, why not? Why not, baby B? What's wrong with that? You, 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 you let, uh, you let, uh, Seattle play, like, D3, King, D2, Queen, E1. Why won't you let me play anything funky? But, but why not? Exactly 420. Because Seattle is settling. <laughs> JBS, you can use them for different challenges. Ask for an opening. Challenge dog. Alright, Baby B. I'll play it one more time, but I tell you, 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 gotta, you gotta overcome whatever this is that you don't want me playing anything else, because... I think it's kind of silly. A4, H4, B3, G3. Okay, okay. Hey, speak of Seattle and he has arrived. the sodium attack so guess uh i guess patch miss prime you wanna you wanna challenge me the entire freaking seattle yeah the not not not, not just seattle but seattle university let's do it fine uh. Hopefully. <laughs> no, 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 I'm locked in. I'm locked into Patrimus. He, he's been waiting. He's been waiting for a little while. But we, we can play some more, baby. Uh, JBS, I did not. I did not go to university or college. You're... Oh, 6-4. Got third in a 30 One hour and 30 minutes with 30 seconds? What the heck? 
So Patchmas, are are you saying you want to you want me to challenge you? Is that is that Ooh, that is so much 30 second chess. What what was your final score, 6 4? Just play chess full time, pretty much. Um, no, I mean, I've, uh, the, the different things I've been involved in for work, I, I've never really needed to go get a degree. And I just, I, you know, I, I, I talked to someone at one of the universities over the chess program and, oh, here we go. Okay. Sodium. Um, yeah, I mean, I talked to him and it was just a really sweet deal and it was I, like, I really appreciated him reaching out to me, but it kind of emphasized that I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really feel like that, that inward desire. Like I, I need to go to college. I needed to get a degree for, you know, this reason. So wait, raid from Canty. Hey, yo. Oh, wait, we got a Canty raid. Freaking Canty, thank you so much. Shout out to you. How how is the arena? Six four was just telling us about it. Yeah. Headphone warning. Headphone warning. If you've been in a if you've been in a chess talk grade before, you know what's coming. I'm gonna give you the loud sound warning. You got you got you got about 10 seconds. I, I hopefully turned down the volume a little bit, but we have something for raids to welcome you all. And I managed to set it up to this scene as well. So I'm gonna pause the music. Wait, wait, your ears are ready. <laughs> All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, come on. Work, work with me. Wait, I, maybe I need to switch to this view first. <laughs> Welcome, Raiders. Jim can be absolute legend. Thank you so much once again raiders welcome much much appreciated uh, i gotta say i've been really noticing canty if uh, if you're still here i've noticed a lot of people in your raids thank you so much for the follow a lot of people in your arenas play the jobava london so i gotta i gotta assume i haven't seen it yet that your course is absolutely amazing because they play it, they do pretty well when I play against them, that I am just, I tell you, I'm so sick of the Joe Bob of London, because, you know, I just, I just don't want my opponents to play good chess. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's, it's such a standout, like, I, I'm like, that man, that course must be absolute banger, because, you, you know, when someone, someone's from a Canty arena, they play the Joe Bob of London. Yeah, the white monster. Big, big fan. Does Naroditsky have a draw? I think Naroditsky does as well. But let me tell you. Let me tell you. When I was at Timber Moose and a lot of the streamers were there, man, Canty, absolute legend. Thank you so much for the follow. He was working his tail off every time i saw him it was like he had done 100 push-ups 100 squats 100 sit-ups i'm like yeah i just woke up <laughs> so i uh i strongly believe he put in the work into that course and uh i'm a big big fan of canty once again thanks for the raid betty stone thank you for the follow All right, I think I think this is coming together. Uh, let's go, let's go here. 
<laughs> Don't cry, Wolf. It sounds like you're hating on the Joe Baba, though. At least a little bit. Then here. And now, right up five. Oh, I'm not bad. You're reading your books. That's awesome. It's the best kind of book. The one that you, you read. That's uh, the big danger with chess books is a lot of people will get them. They get excited. But, I mean, a lot of chess books are still, they're still work. And if you let that overwhelm you too easily, then before you know it, uh you haven't really looked at that chess book and it's just collecting dust and then you're finding somewhere to donate your gm you have a black line against the joe papa buried somewhere in a chess face file ah hatch miss prime gg you want to run it again uno mas Oh, I totally, I totally missed the flipboard. I apologize, Seattle. I totally missed that. <laughs> what happens if you have free chess books? Um, I don't know. It's kind of self-explanatory. You hit 3,300, baby B. Nice. Started only a year ago. That is pretty crazy. Wait, I'll send you the rematch again. Hey, GBS, I had to get to the sodium attack. Look, GBS, I'll reverse it. Is it okay if I reverse it? It better be because... <laughs> because I'm committed. I'm playing it. Don't don't get don't get overwhelmed by a patch miss. It's just it's just the choosing opening. You know, no one ever chooses the openings I play. I don't know what that's about. Oh, I'm supposed to be playing with a flipboard as well. Kudos of Seattle. And now I need to gambit upon. Wow. <laughs> what what a joy. Wrong move order. Oh. Wait a second. <laughs> wait, 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 JBS. Wait a second. No, no, I, I think it's good. I think I think we got it's a transposition. It's a transposition. Oh gosh. No free fun, please. Maybe maybe I'll play it in the next game too. I'll I'll, I'll double down. I think he can't, but I, you know, I'm I'm willing I'm willing to, to deal with it. Hey yo, 6-4, you're playing a 2400 National Master. Okay, here's my advice. Kick his trash. That's it. Now you're ready. You got the tools you need. All right. And, and I'm going to gambit that pawn. I'm going to gambit this pawn too. Truthfully, I'm happy to do all these. Wait, 94? Wait, I, I'm out here gambiting pawns. He's out here gambiting that knight. Am I, am I losing this 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 psychological battle? No, no, Patchimus, no, no, Patchimus, don't do it. That does not help whatsoever. What do you mean that doesn't help? Okay, okay, six four. This was advice given to me by a, a, a good friend way back when he was twenty three hundred at the time. I asked him for advice before playing an IM. You know what he told me? He said, play a good move every move. That's an exact quote. Play a good move every move. That was his advice. And you know what happened? I actually won that game. So, it was good advice. Party to the queen. Oh gosh. <laughs> Wait. Hey, six four, you're you're not listening to any of my advice. What the heck, my guy? 
That uh, hurts. That hurts, man. One job. Kick his trash. Play good move every move. <laughs> so if I play a good move every move against UK, then I will win? Ah, oh, because, see, there's a GM secret. There's a GM secret, I tell you. Which is to play a better move every move. Good is not good enough. You gotta push yourself for excellence. <laughs> Couldn't have ever remembered to come out to give you a plan B. Okay, uh, <laughs> all jokes aside, um, that advice, I actually, okay, in a large part was a joke, but I actually don't think is bad. And and the, the way I'm gonna change the phrasing, Pachamus, GG. The way I'm going to change the phrasing is that instead of like just play a good move every move, just focus on playing the best move you know how. Because so many people play chess and they get really result focused and that just that messes with you, right? That really, really messes with you so quickly or they start to get in their head about what their opponent's trying to do and what they're possibly up to. And I feel like your goal at the end of the day with what your opponent's doing, with what you're doing, just focus on playing the best chess you know how. Are you still going to make mistakes? Yes, because we all do make mistakes. But if your focus is a bit more on just playing good chess and not stressing so much about the results, it feels a lot better. All right. Um, JBS, I won't, play, I won't play the opening against... Baby B because Baby B gets upset. <laughs> I don't know why, but Baby B does. I'll try to be nice about it, but I think it's silly because it's Bullet and trying to play like normal stuff in Bullet all the time, kind of lame, but whatever. Yeah, this didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Oh, I'm not bad. So I will accept the challenge. 10-5 uh, is a bit too long. So if you could drop it to like 5-5 five, five, or... Oh, we're playing one minute. What the heck? I keep... I'm so used to playing Baby B uh, Blitz that when we actually play Bullet, I get way too comfortable. He's, he's lulled me into a false sense of security. Okay, I haven't fully calculated this, but I'm fairly sure it works. Like 5% sure. Which is better than most of the sacrifices I go for. I guess it's probably good for bullet because I feel like he, I'm probably not getting full compensation, but we're going to pretend well enough to wait, wait. Yeah. It's, is it just a draw overall? Ah, rook takes. He can run. Shh, don't tell him. JBS, feeling less tilted after getting blown off the board by you. you can try to gain that 100 elo back with your advice. Just play a good move every move. 5% success. Alright, let's run it again. Um, I want to go for this. Actually, this, this opening's been really growing on me. Uh, with these gambit of pawns. This is usually my go-to way of gambiting a pawn. Oh, oh, he was, he was ready for my Bishop G4. Okay, okay, is, I feel like this is the play. Keep up the aggression with a little side of positional. Just a little. 
Yeah, see, just, just enough to prepare Rook C8 for this moment. Just enough to prepare Rook C8 for this moment. That's my, my slight consideration of positional play. Oh no, baby B! Throw in the pieces. GG, GG! Alright, baby B. I gotta play. I'm not bad, bro, now. I'm not bad is ready. He's ready for some blitz. Maybe you can make a chessable course on it. It's a good move. Every move. Mike Sailor, this is one thing that's changed with chess over the years. Even lower grade players play so much more solid with almost no blunders. You're not ready yet. What? Why not? But whatever. It's okay. I'm not bad. I'm terrified too. But you know, you just gotta trust those that you care about and... We just work through the scary things together. Those are not that good. I probably... <laughs> um, so anyone that's that's paid attention to chess.com chat knows that it, it descends into chaos very quickly. Uh, anytime you're spectating a game. And because currently my bullet's very high, um, some people were spectating. And uh, Baby B is definitely engaged. <laughs> Has definitely engaged the chess.com chat. <laughs> uh, get him. Get him, baby B. All right. So what was the move order? Uh, I'm going to reverse it again because I got black. But it's A5. Eight, eight, so A5. Eight, and then... What? I'm not bad. You too. Oh, meant to play e4. Well, now I get white, so you still don't get to play a4. a, a, a h b g, a h. Mia, I played the queen's gambit a couple of times. Yeah. A h. Why is this so difficult for me? <laughs> h b g. A h b g. A h b g. All right, we got it. We got it. Uh, I think this. I think this. What? What is this? GBS, where did the idea for this come from? And what? What? What hole do I need to make sure it finds its way back to? This is so awkward because I, I just I, like I want to break with C four, but now B four is like vulnerable okay we'll make it work probably natural development I mean <laughs> technically what are we developing the rooks I mean I like the fianchetto Oh, big fan. But now I'm basically just playing the hippo. I, like, that's pretty much what I'm playing. The double. Play a good move, every move, and you should win. Yes, so. It was funny too because the friend that I asked, you could kind of tell like he wanted he wanted to give me good advice, but he just didn't like he 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 just didn't have it at the time. <laughs> so that's that's just what he was going going for. Baby B forks the people. <laughs> completely right, Kaden. Uh, did you did you show him? You ha you have did you have fun? Is baby still milking the wind? He not as much tonight. He, he was doing a little bit early, a little bit earlier, but I mean, he, it's been it's been a little light tonight, just a little. All right. Uh, I think we need to actually. 
switch it up a little bit from a normal hippo. Just a little bit. Oh, 6-4. You're 5-0 against the NM. Dang. If you kill the king, then you you win. Yes, Lepke, 100%. That's better than my advice. What the heck? Yeah, you can't you can't let NM farm you six four. You gotta just say no. Just just don't let him. Just don't let him do that. Why why would you let him do that? He just made you with the knife. Oh my gosh, dude. You're so generous. MB, welcome back. I like this song a lot. On this particular playlist, this is one of my one of my favorites. Excuse me, six four. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's what now, huh? Excuse me, what? I, I'm I'm born and raised in Utah. You gotta you gotta explain what you're going for there. I'm I'm very I'm very uh, innocent. Okay, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll actually start to get somewhere. Maybe. I think I go for this now. I'm a little worried about these dark squares, but I think it's fine. I think it's fine, right? I think you're actually a Karo and made it back with the knight. Just, yeah, just play like a Karo. The almighty Hikaru. Can't tell if White's position is okay or not. My my gut says no. Like <laughs> my gut says I'm worse here, but in the long term, you know, there there are a couple of pawns here that I could potentially attack, and maybe a well-timed d4 goes a long way. You didn't think of that. See, six four, we're giving you such good advice. Such good advice. Ooh. Is this? I think let's start here. Let's start with nine of four. Okay, I I, I just want to know. I, let me let me let me let me do this real quick. I'm gonna change my view. I just want to point this out, just for you, JBS. You you see this name? You see this name? This is the name that the the, the A four is given. Where opening? I think that's because chess.com is basically asking, yeah, where's the opening? Yeah, this, this is not an opening. Where is it? Just had to point it out. <laughs> Do you have the best opening? Ah, it's just let me know. See, now if I think I'm Magnus, I will beat everybody. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's... You know, this is roughly how it works. See, that, that was the thing for me. Like, I really struggled being a GM. Then I just, I woke up one day and I'd like, I think I'm a GM. And bam, I got the title. It's kind of magical. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> okay, bro. Uh, I just forgot I'm playing a GM. <laughs> You know, that's that's the thing. Um, Tony tells me this actually all the time that I don't know. I don't know if it's because me and Tony have such a just like a chill relationship. Um, you know, we work together. We just kind of goof around a lot. But he's <laughs> all the time. He's like after after a particularly good game, he'll, he'll be like, oh, yeah, that's right. Like, dang, I was actually pretty good. You know, sometimes I forget you're a GM. I'm like, oh, thanks. Thanks, Tony. It's exactly what I needed to hear today. Ah, oh, 6-4. He had to go. Oh, he was afraid of you, man. He was afraid, I'm sure. I'm sorry. You probably would have got the next game. Lucky number seven. Lucky number seven. But next time, next time, after all our good advice...
Didn't fall for the trap? I don't know. What trap? What, what, what trap? I'm not bad, bro. What trap? Baby, before every tournament, I search up a picture of my opponent. Print it. Tape it to a pillow. Wrestle with it for five hours straight. Screaming, you ain't crap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Baby B actually have a moment with the pictures of the of, of, of his opponent. Do you, you you have your moment, man? Please, please, for goodness' sake, tell me you don't actually do that. No, please don't. No, left key. No, don't you support this? Please, for goodness gracious sake, of all things that I can think of, tell me you do not do that. I, I will never play you again. Because <laughs> I will have images of what you do preparing to play me. It's a normal thing for sure. Oh my gosh. It is, it is not. Isn't D4 blocking the bishop? It is, but um, I really don't want to like either open up this uh, file for him or uh, have to take back with a C pawn because then this pawn is, is quite weak. I don't know. It, it, it may have not been the best. Maybe I should have just accepted it and taken on E4, but I thought some, uh, you know, here and then maybe a, a slow break at some point with either C4 or something queen b5 uh might work all right now is the time now is the time we rise queen b5 don't flag i'm not bad Can we go? No. Mm -mm. I want. I want to play here. Queen takes knight c4 because if take, I take here and the rook is overloaded. And then I get my my knight into the game. Sounds real nice. But I think he has queen c3. Oh wait, can I adapt? Can I play this first? Can I adapt? Is this my time to shine? I want to shine. And then if he takes, I take, I threaten here, and I threaten here. Yeah, knight c4. And take. And take. And take! The combo! Let's go. <laughs> I'm not bad. I'm not bad. Oh my gosh, your chat is killing me. What? No. No. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. GG. Does this... Okay, I gotta check if this fully works. I, I felt good about it. So queen takes a5 is totally fine, but knight c4 does work. Oh, but the defense, though. The defense, bishop takes d4. Okay, we thought about that. In this position, you're, you're, you're maybe a bit overwhelmed with your pieces. Maybe you're a bit overwhelmed. But do you know what the computer says? Because it's the computer. We calmly play queen c8. Why? So we hit c2. And then after take, bishop c3. This is the reason we need the queen on c8. 
And now, and now, after queen b5, queen c7. And I have to compromise my structure to play b4. But hold on, it doesesn't end there. There's still only one move, rook e6. Rook take, I'm just gonna start playing moves, because this is... Are you kidding me? What? What? Are you kidding me? What? Rook d1? What? And the move is in rook takes! Why isn't the move takes? Okay, hold on. It's not in the top three moves. So it's that bad, it's not even top three. What am I spacing? What the heck? I, I honestly don't see it. I mean, is it just, is it just check? King h7, take, and you say you're fine after rook takes knight b3? Not only you're fine, you're winning? Yeah, you just take. You calmly take, and here knight b3, and it's winning. So here you're supposed to play rook h8. Um, yeah, I'm not bad. We can go through more of the game. This is just like absolute insane because this is still forced. From where I played knight c4, it was 0.7. And to keep 0.7 for both of us, this has all been forced. Queen d7, take, take, rook takes, king a2. King b3, and now after rook c5, we have a point eight advantage, and we play this endgame. And I think maybe, maybe, just maybe we quit chess. I haven't decided on that one, but I, I, I'm, I'm open to the possibility after, <laughs> after a line like this. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean, maybe the, maybe towards the end there will be a few move changes. Here it's not as forced. Um, but, yeah. Who knew, yeah, who knew? Knight c4. I, I'm just like, yeah, it looks nice. And, and I'm not bad. I, you know, you don't need to feel bad about it. You were low on time. And uh, this was, I mean, this was a combination I spent quite a while thinking about to play knight c4. And I mean, you just saw the line, like absolute nightmare of a variation. Um, but yeah, that, that, uh, it, it ended up working pretty well. Um, as far as the game, let's, so let's go early on. Uh, okay, we have the JBS line. Yeah, I'm a bit torn. I'm a bit torn on this because I do feel like, practically speaking, uh, playing g6, it gave me these two pawns just as potential targets. And I I'll tell you, like, up to this point, I am struggling for just what I'm supposed to do to break through. My pieces are pretty closed off. So I think that was really just the first breath of life. And then e4, giving me knight f4, opening up my bishop. I think those were the two things I, I think if you had avoided that, uh, the computer recommends d4 here, that you would have been a lot better off. Because uh, it just gave me that little bit of play. I picked up the pawn. And yeah, then we got into the absolute craziness that is uh, the knight c4 variation. BBB, you can play me or my boy. Uh, I can play you one, one more time before you gotta go eat, baby B. Just, just for you, one more time. I'll quit chess if you quit chess. Okay, no, I'm not, I'm not quitting chess. Just, just a joke. But, uh, yeah, uh, oh, geez. 
Um, I'm gonna play, let's play some ready. All right, reverse Grunfeld. Ooh, no, does this work? No, I think I get away with taking. I think for the first time in all the games we've played with, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna get away with taking. Oh, don't take there. I need C pawn. I need the C pawn. Ah, that was a slip. I shouldn't have played queen d3. I probably should have played knight d2 to prepare C takes. I need the space. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Reorganize. Recoup. Baby B, you gotta play faster. Like, no pressure, but... I know myself, and I am definitely not uh, opposed to flagging you. Ah... Yeah, that's annoying. Hey. Oh, I'm... I'm, I'm... <gasps> okay, let's just go back. Pretend like Knight F3 never existed. Never existed. I mean, I technically was threatening his queen, so it's not a full queen blunder, but... Pretending like I have to think about stuff, I literally just uh, blundered out of three. <laughs> what do you mean, pretending? <laughs> uh. All right, John A. Smith. Send me, send me your challenge. Let's do this. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Aha, you told me your username. Perfect. Uh, 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 let's try the ready again. Or not. Ready? Or not. Yeah, I'm not bad. Thinking about the weaknesses, just being pretty aware uh, at a long term. In a long term way, too really help actually let's go c4 i was really thinking about playing e4 but because he pushed e5 i'm gonna go c4 instead yeah take what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Oh, hold on. Hold on. I think this works. I'm going to go for it. E4. Oh, Yara in the queue as well. John A. Smith, uh, after all those comments, does that worry you at all? This was my idea. I think it's good. I think it's brilliant. Um, is it? Maybe. I'm feeling okay about it. Uh, let's... Oh, you take play rookie seven. Okay, this is the way to disrupt the castle. Bishop C6. Told Sinister to come cook. Ah, Seattle. He he left earlier. He was here. He was so excited to play, and then he abandoned us. I don't. Know, maybe he didn't appreciate the comments about uh, him being Sinister Miles, and that should have been his name change. 
Stand by it though. Alright, Queen F3. <laughs> You're a <laughs> win I keep winning and losing positions. What a flex, my guy. I bet you also have a girlfriend. Uh, he likes Sinister Miles, alright. Baby B, I believe you, but we don't we don't play longer time controls too often. How can Magnus be so sinister? Yeah, he can't he can't change it yet. Yeah, what Twitch is two months in between name changes? Because I I changed my Twitch my my uh, personal one. Uh, I think it used to be Caden Trove Chess. I think is what it was. I changed it a long time ago. And then I, I changed it to GM Caden. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe. Looks scary. Dang, this is actually some pretty solid defense. Pretty solid defense down a piece. Keeping me from the checkmate. So I think I'm just gonna trade stuff. Something about King H7 just doesn't just doesn't sit right. I'll figure it out. GG, GG. Uh, MB. MB is up next, then 6 4, and then Yera. Was there a better move? I, I, maybe. What's my one blunder? If it, if it says Bishop take. Ooh. Oh, ouch. Okay. Ah, uh, this Bishop takes D4. Is it a mistake? Wait, so so take, right? Taking is better. What did I miss? So I was thinking about rookie one, which is the best move, but I was also thinking about, so I thought I could just take. I missed castle and queen side. Because it gets out of the pin and prepares another defender. <sighs> okay, I don't feel too bad about it. I don't. <laughs> uh. Oh, this is MB. All right, 10 minutes. Wait, I thought you said... Oh, this time you want black. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking I would have the black pieces. Let's keep with the ready. Horse castle and queenside. How could I not see that? <laughs> ah. It's crazy. It was there a bitter move? Bitter moves are tasty. Nah, Seattle. You like bitter? That's the kind of line I would play. Nah, come on. Nah, come on, Seattle. You're not finding castle and queenside there. At least not in the early stage. Maybe in the moment, but... When I win, I win. Yeah, when you win, it's because I literally drop all of my pieces. And am I a little salty? Yeah, obviously. Kind of, that's the kind of line that make you drop every piece. It's just too exquisite. But yeah, that's that's probably true. I, uh, you know, I do tilt uh, every now and then like that, right? Lose one piece, blunder another. It's kind of a kind of a problem. 
Someone can only win against me if I blunder. Never happens. 6-4. How, how, how good does it feel to be better than Magnus? Never blunder. Wow. It's impressive. I strive for that type of excellence. Sure. <laughs> uh, vamps, I am doing a rapid. I know, crazy. Late at night, but MB wanted it, and uh, I'm feeling chill. Play into the line accidentally, only to have fine castles on. Okay, honest, honest conversation though. That that line with castle and queen side, that frustrates me so much. Like, have you ever been playing a game and you know, you know because of how much time your opponent spends that they totally miss something. Only for them to be saved by a crazy tactic that now in the moment, of course they find. It frustrates me so much when it is just so clear that they missed, they missed the key idea, but they, they just out of desperation find the move. Now I do that too. Desperation is a fantastic motivator. I may have had, no, 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 it was queen h3. But oh, I tell you, it frustrates me. <laughs> Lucky. Uh, I thought blunder was a good thing. I get tons of them every game. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like golf sometimes. The worst score, like that caps you get after, you want it to be as low as possible. Yeah, knight d4 with some nasty tactics. Feels pretty nice. I think it may be a little bit more show than actual sting. Like there, there are some things, of course, you have to be careful of. But is it gonna be GG? Maybe. Maybe. Psychological warfare never stops. I do wanna. Is there any? There may have actually been something. Maybe I should have taken on c6. Because I was thinking take, and then I have problems with queen h3. Because, of course, knight takes e7 is an issue. And knight f4. Maybe knight d4 was brilliant, but I, I slightly missed my chance there. Slightly. Okay, where do I want this, this queen? Because there's potential to get attacked on both squares from the knights. I think, therefore I am, but I think queen d2. John A. Smith headed out. Thanks for tuning in. You have a wonderful night or morning. Depending on where you live. Yeah, maybe maybe now I kind of call it off. I think I call it off. But I just don't want to take because B takes C six, opening up the file. When is GM Tony back for more schoolings? He doesn't get back till like a week from now. Tony is gone forever. It's like he's in Hawaii and wants to enjoy his time or something. Um, why doesn't he hop on to call and stream with you? I don't know. He had some uh, lame excuse about being... No. He, he, the hotel room, they're all staying in the same room, and he just doesn't ha really have a space that he could call without a bunch of background noise. And it's also, I mean, in Hawaii, it's three hours earlier. So like we're start I started at you know 9:45 Utah time it's 
six forty five Hawaii, you know, in, in in Hawaii where he is, and they're just going out to get food. Um, can I not take on D six? Just so we're on the same page, what's going on there? You're gonna play E four and take. Okay, I can see that. That is not the craziest thing I've seen all day. So it's a, it's a rapid, so maybe I should actually take them. Maybe I should. Ah, my freaking greedy gut. I still want to take on D6. I'm somewhat convinced, but I, I, I'm going to do it. I'm just, I'm just make sure my queen's not getting trapped. I don't think it is. We're, we're going to do it. Yeah, knight G5. So I think I get some okay pressure against these pawns, and the position starts to open up. I think it's worth it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's just the life. Yeah, that's so. You have to enjoy yourself in a way. Yeah, seriously. You've got to enjoy yourself in a way. I just, uh... Yeah, I'm, I keep getting back into this game, but I'm trying to keep watching. <laughs> yeah, it's a very interesting position. We want GM Tony, not this random chess passer named Kid Tro. Hey, hey, yo, 6 4, aren't you up next? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Some fighting words. I don't mind. I don't mind some fighting words. Get, get me warmed up before the game. Yeah, he's borrowing Tony GM title, but not the actual GM. Because sometimes it is questionable. Let's let's be honest. I mean, I've lost to Seattle three times. Am I even a GM, bro? Oh my god. Why are you guys roasting me? What what happened? What did I do? Like just just curious. <laughs> uh jeez. Let me think. I don't, I don't think I said anything against Tony. I didn't roast him too much. I haven't roasted Seattle too much. Uh, what else? What else? I say anything, anything against Takaru? I don't think so. <laughs> we just, we just play in. Yeah, I know. I'm not bad. Do I play like a 300? No, no, I'm not bad. I don't think so. I think you play better. We just missed Tony. Ah. Me too. I'm actually quite fond of Tony, believe it or not. I hope you believe it, because it's true. So, I had two thoughts here. One was knight d5. The other was to simply play queen f3. How, how, how... I feel it. I feel pretty good actually about both of them. But I think I feel better about Knight D5. If <laughs> you're playing rapid, those type of people deserve to get roasted. That's fair. That's fair. I don't I don't I don't uh I don't play rapid too often at night, but you know, MB was so nice about it. Oh, I'm not bad. If I didn't know what your rating was, what rating do you think I'd be? I I don't know, man. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not particularly fantastic on I'm guessing the rating. Like I, I'll tell you straight up, my my typical advice when someone asks me that is, 
Now go play more rated games. Get your rating up. I think you can. Just go make it happen. No guessing. Don't leave it up to guessing. Let the rating speak for itself. I like the mix of GMK intro and then lower hit player studies. <laughs> Uh, and sometimes I am both, so that makes. I, uh, I I tell you guys, I was playing some Bullet. I already said this a little bit, but I was playing Bullet on my personal account earlier, and I tilted so hard, <laughs> so hard. I was, it was not good. I, yeah, mm -hmm. it was not. So sometimes I fulfill both roles, and sometimes you guys fulfill both roles. Like, you guys are the GM, and I'm just here. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh my gosh. Oh, duh. Dang it. I, wanna, I wanted to get real fancy with Night Takes F7. But it's so, it's, it's simpler than that. I'm complicating it. I really want to complicate it now, because Night Takes F7 looks like so much fun. So much fun. <sighs> but fine. Yeah. I'm going back and looking at Night Takes F7 though, because I think it was good. It's a fascinating decision, allowing the discovery on the queen. Yeah, just to get a bit more aggression. I mean, the discovery looks scary, but at the end of the day... It, I, I was actually talking to my student about this quite a bit. And, uh, you know, when it comes to calculation, I think one of the most important things, like one of the most important attitudes to, to have is, is like an attitude of disproving an idea, right? Like here, if I'm thinking about queen takes c4, um, and you can see it actually is the best move. Like my goal in c considering queen takes e 4 is to disprove it. And so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna look at the most dangerous discoveries like bishop f6, bishop takes g3, and if I'm looking at them and, you know, for me, my fallback option was queen f3, like worst case scenario, and it, and queen f3 is good too. If, if those options work, then I know there's something to it, right? Maybe I still consider some of the other less obvious options, but I'm starting with, okay, what if my opponent is greedy, goes after my pieces, what is happening? And if those ideas aren't working, I'm like, okay, there's something to it. Oh well, yeah, queen takes e4. Ended up working very well. MB, GG. I. Oh, what was the other moment I wanted to look at? I think he's. No, don't tell me that computer. I mean, thankfully, it's not unbelievable. If Knight takes C6 was winning, I would be upset. <laughs> ah, but I played King takes G2, and. Dang. Knight takes C6 does work. Ah, I was worried about this, but. Take knight f4. I missed knight f4. Ah. Mike, no worries. That's that's just that's that's typically what I, I think about. I'm not bad, no worries. Lurking, totally fine. The knights were more active and I made a blunder. Yeah, the knights really came to life. I, I think uh I think e5. I like the idea. I think it was just a little bit too much because now now you have to be careful because my knights do start to get in the game and um, particularly this knight i mean it, it doesn't look like a big deal at first but it kind of quickly became an issue oh wait uh, what is happening after knight does knight take oh, knight take that does work lame lame knight takes f7 why do you disappoint me Ah, uh, yeah, because takes takes bishop h4 to cover the fork here. Ah, good cut. We found it. Queen takes e8. All right, 6-4. Are you ready to send it? 
You ready to throw down? Wait, 6-4, what, 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 what quote were you asking about when you said, where did you get that quote from? I mean, but also send the challenge. But also, like... Yes. Okay. Perfect. 6-4 going to win for sure. <sighs> I mean, we we did we did give six four so much advice, so much advice when he was playing the national masters. So he's probably gonna unleash it. Kaden, do you like boba? I like boba tea, like the flavor is pretty good. I do not like the little tapioca balls. Not not not, not, not a big fan. Not a big fan, if I'm being honest. They're not my favorite. All right, all right, 6-4 is gonna show me how it's done. Strawberry milk tea. Yes, a lot of those fruity flavors. Um, what was the one? There's there's one place I used to go that had a honeydew that was super nice. Like, I, I, I like honeydew. I wouldn't particularly consider myself like a honeydew flavor fan. Because I just, I mean, there's the, where, where do you get a honeydew option? But I tell you, that tea was delicious. Right. Ah, uh, let's go here instead. Hey, Mike Sailor, thank you so much for the subscription. How are you not dying? What? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I think you forgot that I'm supposed to be beating you. Okay, okay, okay. We're we're <laughs> we're figuring it out. It took a minute. It took a minute, but we're figuring it out. Take the pawns. Take the pawns. Pawns. Ooh, though. Oh, no. 6 4. Oh, no. Out of nowhere, the checkmate. I don't. All right. All right. You know, you know what? You're right, 6 4. I don't want the checkmate either. <laughs> I, I don't want it. I don't want it. It's lame. You're right. My bad. Night Owl in the East Coast. Wow, we actually have a good... <laughs> so, 6-4, uh, how do we proceed? I'm going to take this, yeah? Okay. All right. Good, good, good to know. Good to know. Uh, I guess I should probably play faster here now. I'm playing kind of slow, but you got yourself caught. It was your your hand was caught in the primu cookie jar, my friend. Yeah, I hate to see it. it happens. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is not very fun. Wait, why not? The oops variation. That's, that's a great name for it. Wait, Mickey D's has teriyaki chicken sandwich? Are you... Wait. <gasps> In Japan? <gasps> that's awesome. I love teriyaki. I love chicken sandwiches. What a beautiful thing. Japan is a great place. Can we talk about how great Japan is? I just feel like it's a really appropriate moment to talk about. Ah, uh, why am I hesitating? We shall not hesitate. 
I think not hesitating is the first commandment of bullet. It's just, uh, I don't even know what I'm doing over there. Can we pretend that, okay, thank you. <laughs> um, I'm glad you're nicer than I am. Oh no. Oh gosh, oh my goodness. Why is, why is chess gotta be the absolute dirtiest? Man, it's a it's a nice wall. It's a, a nice wall. I quite admire that wall. What? No, chess chess is brutal. Maybe it's me too. All right, rematch. All right, last one, and then I gotta play Yara. <laughs> hey, not this time. Let's go. Ah, you're not falling for my tricks. G Bishop g6 gets you in some trouble. Some pawn structure problems. Wait, the bishop's back on c8. The bishop's back on c8. What is it? It's here. It's here, I think. It's at least annoying. Because it will, will uh, disrupt the... will disrupt the castling, and... Uh, I mean, we could take there, but... Why? Why? Oh, 6-4. Why? Okay, I should have taken there first, actually. Ah, maybe it's fine. You bully. <laughs> I enjoy this. 6 4. What? <gasps> Wait, why? Why? <laughs> wait, how long? Oh, wait, wait. My bad. My bad. That's right. We gotta, we gotta do this. There it is. There it is. Takes four. GG. Look <laughs> at angry face. I, I, it had to be done. You know, when it's, it's like on Passant. When you, when you get a chance for a windmill, you gotta do the windmill. You, you gotta do it. it I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, 6-4. <sighs> it's gotta be done. Hey, hey beginner players, how's it going? Uh, I've never, I've never been to Japan. Uh, no, this is, this is, we have an actual office. We were in an office building. Bullet or blitz, whatever you want, Yara. It's up to you. I, 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 uh, I've, I've definitely been doing better in bullet lately. My blitz, I need to figure that out. Oh, you went to Tokyo. It was a blast. Oof. That that's kind of a it's kind of a chess dog stream honestly like if uh hey H1 chess hey thank you so much for the raid and you know what that means we got another raid raid music again absolutely for all of you raiders and everyone in chat I will give you the loud loud sound warning we do have a raid thing. I'll give you five seconds. Turn the volume. A S A P. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let me let me wait. Let me make sure I have it. I have it cooking here. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome. H1 
Scared me. <laughs> uh, in my heart. Uh, that's why. That's why I left. Uh, hey, sweet socialite. How's it going? Uh, Yara. Sorry. I think you challenged me while I was doing the thing, and uh, yeah. To the, I don't know. Chess.com. The challenges are disappearing. So. No, not not you, sweet socialite. For uh, Yara. I'm just calling you Yara. I don't Venera. Bunny Bunny era. Is it Bunny era? Is it that the whole time? Hey, hey. all right. One minute. All right. I don't know mind. It is Bunny era. Yeah. You know how long that took me to get? It's kind of embarrassing. This looks spicy. Yeah. It's it's such a nice combo to just go for like a structural advantage, but I guess it is what it is. Oh my goodness, Steven Willie in the chat, not on a title Tuesday. Hold on, is that even legal? How are you doing, Steven? Wait a second, same idea, but better. Let's just sidestep it. I don't really know what's going on. Okay, now I know what's going on. I'm gonna take the stuff. I'll protect there, and let's go for Rook G8. This is fine. We need to undermine the Rook here. GG. I think this is what we played in the bullet arena yesterday. We got a very oh it's it's different. It was it was kind of close to this. Um Okay. Now the fork. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Let's run, run, knight, run, forest, run. Ah, yeah, that works. It's it's a few more pieces if it takes with knight g four, but a few more pieces than I would want. But it's fine. GG, GG. H1, yes, I am accepting challenges from viewers. <laughs> hey, everyone. We don't need Tony to have fun. Yeah, but it helps. Don't you think? I think it helps. Tony's a fun guy. Wait a second. I thought that was protected. We don't even need Kaden. Hey, hey now, 6-4. Oh, that's right. You you definitely didn't enjoy playing me. <laughs> I forgot. My bad. Uh, that's a very it's very appropriate comment from you right now. I, uh, that's on me. 
Yes, sweet socialite. So because we're playing Bullet, I typically give people that uh, challenge me uh, more games in Bullet because they're so fast, right? Uh, technically, Knight of Fate is a thing. Okay, no Knight of Fate. Let's see. Let's go one more. Four games. Four games. Uh, here um and sweet socialite there's also mb in the queue before you just so you're aware oh ah, the dish. yeah <laughs> that's that score wasn't protected <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, wait a second. I mean, technically, but I think I'm okay with this. Um, let's just protect. Okay, I'm moving a little slow. Oh, but there we go. There it is. That was the move. That was the move I needed. That was the breakthrough. GG's, GG's. Um, switch so socialite five five or three two both are fantastic. Salt is rubbed by kids, not my defeated wounds. Uh Tony's like alcohol, you don't need it, but it helps. There you go, Ramen Lord. Uh where is the Queen's Gambit? Ah, that's right. You you missed it. You missed it. You missed it again, didn't you, Mia? Uh, MB, send me the challenge. Uh, Sweet Socialite, five five or three two is fine, but uh, MB is up first. Oh, MB wants some bullet. Okay, with increment. Oh my gosh, my weakness. How will how will I flag you? It's very inconsiderate. Taking away my flagging powers. What's my go-to in rock, paper, scissors? It is rock. Which actually, strangely enough, was advice, I want to say given to me from uh, Greg Shahade. I am. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember how we got in the conversation, but... We were talking about it once, and he's just like, yeah, always go rock. Because psychologically, you finish on scissors, so a lot of people go scissors. I'm going to just copy my message from early in case you didn't see. That's fair. Sorry, it's a bit, it's a bit hard sometimes playing bullet. But you can always feel free to repeat. If it's important. Even if it's not important. Maybe especially if it's not important. Just late night. GG, GG. Another? Aha. I'm playing a guy, and Tony played two months ago, and I kind of need to prep, so might as well ask what he played. Oh, wait, you're playing, you're playing in the North American. Wait a second. Two months ago. Okay, so that would have been at Phoenix. What, uh, who's the opponent's name? What's the, how do you work? Ah, I shouldn't do it, but, oh no, it's, it's increment. Okay, if it was an increment, I probably would try and go for queen f3 and sack the queen, but it's increment, so the practicality, we gotta be a little bit more focused on technicality. Oh, it's a guy, me, and, oh, oh, yes. Where's my point? <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> I'm trying to read chat. I'm trying to play bullet. You guys ask so much of me. I'm trying. This is why we need Tony. Oh, I'll get there. I'll get there. 
Six four. Why you? Why you gotta be so salty? Uh, rock paper scissors. Hey, this is, that sounds a bit sneaky, my guy. Um. So against me, he played e four, Stephen, and 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 played the Maroxy. You, you've probably even seen the line. I played this queen b6 line, and I played it a little bit better because it was a classical game. Um, and I played queen b6, he played knight b3, and at some point I played like knight c6, d6, and ended up taking on c3 after knight c3. And we kind of got like an equal position where I was, like it was just more comfortable for me to play. Wait, Vamps. But why? Well, that's a stupid redeem. <laughs> MP! GG! <laughs> let's, let's play again. Freaking... You can go. I want to see... No, I, I got this. Look. I'm gonna gambit upon. All right, I'm gonna gam. Okay, I'm gonna gambit upon. Okay, I'm gonna gambit upon. What, what do you want from me? Aha! The pawn. Oh, that's like the worst time to gambit the pawn. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shoot. All right, we're back. All right. All right, all right, we'll, we'll cook now, we'll cook. Yeah, seriously, Mario's so good. I can't believe I lost that last game. That's actually, that's, I want you guys to know that's actually the first time someone's redeemed it and I've actually respected it. Cause I, I typically, I typically like when someone redeems it, I'm like, no. And I just re refund the points, um, resign immediately. Cause I'm kind of a, a competitive person like that, but first time. Freaking vamps. Uh, I'm a little hurt, Vamps. I'm a little hurt. Just a little bit. Ah, no, MB. What do you want from me, 6 4? I gambited the pawn. I resigned immediately. I, I technically, the Queen's Gambit Mia is on. I technically have already done that. Uh, she just wants me to do it again because. She she stepped away and all freaking audacity when I played it. Oh uh, no, thank you, Vamps. I guess I guess that's true. You, you, you did prove that point. Alright, MB final one. Fourth game, and then Sweet Socialite, you are up next. It's okay, kid. No, I understand 6-4. I know you're just, you're salty because of reasons. Maybe the games we played, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. Okay, I technically almost am getting this bishop trapped. I'm not salty. Sound a little salty, my guy. You, 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 my guy. You, you've been, a, you, you've been a lot more harsh against me since since those games. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm trolling. I mean, you say you're trolling, but ugh.
getting close to something. Six <laughs> four. Uh, I I am I am trolling you as well, my friend. I I know you don't mean anything bad about it. Uh, I uh, I hope I hope you can tell that. I've actually had a couple of people on stream. I've I've had to explain that I am being sarcastic because uh, they, like they just don't pick up on it and. I'm sorry. Your scientific response to choosing rock has rocked my world. No, it's not mine. I don't want to take credit for it. That is Greg Shahade that told me that many, many moons ago. What's the play? I think let's lock those pawns and then run the king up. I probably don't need to lock the pawns to do that, but I think... I think it will work. Throw in a little annoying check here. And a little annoying check there. Da, da, da. Wait a second. No, you moved your king too far on me. The king wandered. It wandered. Past where it should have. It went into the the Pride Lands. Okay, let's take this pawn. Let's come back. GG, GG. Don't worry, I'm like this as well. I always sarcastic. All the GMs, where's Tony? Do you believe in my capacity to hit 2,000? I do. Right now, 6 more, I do. You got all the bad out playing me. Now's your time to shine. I'm not bad. I've been here this whole time. Yeah, you told me you were lurking, right? 2,000 the dream. <laughs> JPS. I just picked rock because it's fun to smash stuff, so rocks are good. I like it. Last game I got a 2550 ELO. Nice. Oh, no. Wait, see, sweet socialite. If you challenge me, can you send it again? I, uh. There it is. Hey, yo. Rated? Sweet socialite. That's okay. My, my blitz, it's fine. <laughs> not too worried about it uh if it was bullet different conversation but my blitz right now uh. this is uh this is what i played against magnus e3 a5 absolutely cracked opening I think because because of a4, I think I'll go for g6. g6 I often avoid because a lot of people take, but I think with the addition of a4, it'll be just that little bit of structural weakness uh, down the road. You're welcome for the extra watch time. No, I appreciate it. I'm not bad. I, pre I appreciate all you. The chatters, the lurkers alike. Speaking of, if you guys didn't see, uh, chess.com, I think, hit, what, fifth for watch time in, in uh, sports? Fifth highest this last year. Hikaru was sixth. Pretty crazy. Yeah, each one. You can redeem channel points for... The challenge a dog to a game. 
That's because the classical games are so darn long. Uh, that's true. But I'm telling you, chess.com has been doing an excellent job with their streams, getting good commentators, providing good content. You know, I this this is the thing I always bring up when we when we get into a conversation about chess.com versus Lee Chess. And really, really showed in that chess.com fifth most watch time in the sports category. Fifth most. Chess.com is absolutely putting this game out to tons of people. So however you feel about them, you gotta give them the credit where credit's due. They're doing a ton of good for chess. Danya's goaded at commentary. Danya is goaded, period. I do agree. Danya. Like I, I mentioned I mentioned when Canty raided that at Timber Moose, he was it was a lot of fun to see him. He really saw his work ethic. The other person that really stood out as far as work ethic was Danya. Danya Man, that guy as well just worked so hard. And uh, it was really impressive. He's yeah, I mean, he, he's been a friend of mine for a long time and just a really good dude. Really, really amazing chess player. Amazing blitz, bullet player. Unbelievable speed. And, and yeah, fantastic commentator. Danya could be a super gym if he didn't go to Stanford. It, it's possible, but at the same time, I mean... I mean, I, I know from talking with Danya that the, the just the classical chess in general, I think he's had a bit of that wear of just having to constantly be super prepped up. And I, I mean, I, I still think like as an absolute monster in Blitz and Bullet, I still feel like he could be a super GM, but I think he's just so involved with, with commentary now and content creation that I just don't think he has the time. So it's hard. Because he went to school. I think that was good for him. I think the, the, the content creation has been really good for him. He does an absolute killer job. And, you know, at the end of the day, um, Hikaru made this, made this point. It's kind of the better career choice. Like, very likely, Danya is going to make more money in content creation than than uh, pushing for Super GM. Uh, especially with how competitive uh, the US chess scene is now with all these players that have switched federations. I think he chose the right direction. Like he is, when it comes to life, he's freaking killing it. Okay, maybe maybe he need, maybe, <laughs> he probably needs to get a little bit more sleep. He probably needs to get a little more sleep because sometimes uh I don't know it seems like his sleep schedule is completely whack. But uh, yeah. Other than that, <laughs> he seems to be doing very well at life. Uh, how many channel points to hear me talk about Hans and the and the beads? I don't know. What 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 do you want to JPS? What what about it? Do you want to talk about? Enlighten me. I will say on Hans, the most interesting thing to me recently with the FIDE report. Now the FIDE report was really about Magnus. His withdrawal from the Sinkfield Cup, and if uh, basically he crossed the line in doing so, he broke a rule doing so, so on and so forth. He was found guilty. It was a very light punishment for Magnus. He was slapped with a ten thousand dollar fine, but within that, Fide did agree uh, with their own findings that Hans likely did cheat in more Chess.com games than he admitted to. 
So I know it's probably not going to be dove into again. I think a lot of that's been kind of beat into a pulp, but interesting, interesting. I'm not bad. I got like $50 worth of chest knowledge. Might as well get this out of Back to lurking. There you go. Uh, sweet Toad Flight. No worries. That happens. Knight takes F2. Easy to happen. Okay, I think I take here. I thought the vine was ridiculous. Okay, JBS. Why do you feel like it was ridiculous? Because I, I do have thoughts on this. And, I, and I'll tell you going into this, I actually, from since it happened, didn't like that Magnus Carlsen withdrew from the event. Because I felt like it punished the, you know, the, the St. Louis Chess Club and the spectators more than it punished Hans since he, are, he had already played Hans. Now, it definitely garnered a lot of negative attention for Hans, but I don't know. I, I wasn't, I, I didn't love that he withdrew. But I'm, I'm curious what your take is on that. <laughs> MB, I'm not going to tell my mom how I defeated a GM, and let's see if she's going to tell me not to go to school. Hey, baby B was talking about that. Let's see if it works. Yeah, MB and Bullet, like, your uh, your your review is gonna be like, freaking, you beat a three thousand, absolute legend. Sweet socialite, GG. Yeah, Queen D three definitely was the downfall. Already, already a tough position. Just the the, the little bit of pressure around, tough to defend. GG. All right, six four. Send it. Oh, if the money was going to St. Louis Chess Club and not beat it, then it's different now. That's actually a good point. That's act. That's actually that's actually a good point, JBS. Hey. Josie Nax or Jose Nax? Josie Nax? Thank you for the follow. <laughs> and, uh, sorry, I don't know. I'm no good at pronouncing your name. Oh, prepare to get demolished. I am. I am ready. I'm ready. Six four. Show me. Show me what you got. Prepare to get trolled. I mean, prepare to get rolled. Wait. <laughs> What's the nice thing to say? Good luck? Good luck. Nax, how are you doing? Jose Nax? Josie Nax? How are you doing? A 1v1 in 10 minute. At this point, uh, if you could do a blitz, I, I'm down. Uh, I'm probably done with rapid. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's 12, it's 12, it's past midnight here. Rapid's like a, it's like a morning time control or an afternoon. Why is Vita getting paid when their entire statements, we agree with you and that Hans likely cheated more. They also said that the media attention was good for chess. Yeah, so JBS, I actually do really agree with that. I think... Yeah, 6-4, it's, it's kind of an issue, Queen v6. I'm sorry. Uh, I do agree that... Like, I think a fine was appropriate. I think a fine was appropriate. I did not like the decision by Magnus. I think it was out of line. Kasparov himself pointed out that no, you know, world champion class player had done anything like that. Uh, yeah, six four. We can we could said it again um, for fifty years, and I just think all around, it, 
You know, I, I wasn't a fan. And I said that before FIDE came out. But I do absolutely agree if we talk about who who, who was the quote-unquote offended party. It was the St. Louis Chess Club. Who should the money go to? It should be the tournament organizers, right? If, if FIDE finds someone guilty of withdrawing inappropriately from an event, it should go to the tournament organizers, the people that put on the event. If that happens, if it happens to be a FIDE event, fine. If it's not, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It seems kind of questionable. I'm sure their reasoning is one, because they're FIDE and they like money. And two, because they did all the research into if it was a punishable offense or not. But I don't know. It, it's a bit, it's a bit weird. I do think the amounts as well, and the statement from the FIDE president, I didn't love. Um, basically, the FIDE president saying, "Hey, he's the world champion. He does good for chess. Let's, let's be nice in the punishment." I didn't love that. And, and 10,000, the max they, they could have fined them, could have fined Magnus, was 20,000, right? 20,000. Now, let's talk about this. He withdrew from the Singfield Cup, one of the most prestigious, like, high-rated tournaments in the entire world every year. What's the $20,000 punishment? Like, what? What, you, what tournament do you have to withdraw from the world championship? Is that the line? Is that when we get up to the max punishment? Is 20,000 for the world championship withdrawal? I just, it was, it was weird. It was weird. And like, really not a big deal to Magnus. I don't think Magnus is upset with the decision at all. Uh, but, you know, the whole report was, was interesting. Um, I'm glad FIDE finally put out a report. I know... Ooh. Ah. No. Ah. This works. This does work. If knight takes e5 didn't exist. Because it's it's take take check king h8 queen takes h6 king g8 queen takes e6 rook f7 takes d5. We've gotten enough pawns, and we're hitting the bishop as well as threatening e6. Would have been nice. Oh, wait. There's no increment. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Time to move. I got. I got. I really wanted to play bishop takes h6. G4. Yeah, maybe G4 was the right call. I, I, I kind of went for this because I just feel like overall um, that I'm probably going to get some sort of trick like this. And uh, positionally, there's some weak pawns. And uh, there's also this weak... Six four. What about your rooks? What about your rooks? What, what, what did your rooks do in these blitz games to uh, spurn you into... Uh, being so generous with them. They got feelings too. You should you should uh, keep that in mind. This is what happens playing chess at 2.30 in the morning. So true though. That's that's why that that's part of why the no rapid for me this late, because Rapid, you gotta play well. <laughs> like you, you should play well. And I don't really want to have to. Like I'll still try to play somewhat good, but I don't want to play to the level of rapid. That's that's just that's, that's, that's like I said, it's a morning or afternoon thing. When the brain is fresh. And ready to cook. Pixels do have feelings. I'm not bad. I almost roasted you, and you don't deserve that. 
You do not deserve that. I'm not bad. You've been an absolute amazing lurker. But I almost did it, and I, 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 um, uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. But I'm saying pixels have feelings. That's a pretty good setup for a few roasts, not going to lie. Oh, wow. Why so, why so generous? I think I, we push, right, we push. Right, now what do we do? I think we push here. And then, which one is it? I, I get I get so confused. I think I'm pushing the wrong key. <laughs> yeah, I'm pushing the wrong key. Uh, what were I, what I was gonna what was I gonna say? Uh, you said pixels have feelings, and I legit. I'm actually curious. Yeah. Gonna say, uh, at least that's what you tell your AI girlfriend. Oh, uh, all right, moving on. Um, but you deserve better than that. Ska, hi, Rook AJ, yeah, yeah. Um, Max, I, I, six four. We're, we have a very, we have a very special relationship. <laughs> You're clipping that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Where, um, I don't know, I guess six four, we play and uh, you know, we just have fun with it, right? We're not taking it too seriously. We just have fun with it. <laughs> Honestly, good roast. I, I mean, I was ready for it. I like roasting people a little bit every now and then. <laughs> Imagine being rejected by your hair girlfriend. Ugh. Scott, is that from personal experience? Do we need do we need to have a talk? Did I get that off of? Geeks for geeks, I did not. Only bad streamers just roast their devoted followers. Six four in the chess.com chat. And needs needs the point to be made. Chess brilliant, yeah, we can play. I think uh Nax wanted to play after this. Uh, six board just is absolutely loving playing me. So we we played a few games, but hey yo, hey yo arms, hey you know what that means, y'all. Pause the music. We got a raid. All right, I'm gonna hit y'all with that loud sound warning again. I'm gonna hit you with that loud sound warning again. You got you got like ten seconds until I hit you with this. <laughs> you know what to do. Yeah. Uh. Arms, thank you so much for the raid. Turn your volume down if you haven't already. And the thing, welcome raiders. Okay, that was a bit. That was a bit anticlimactic. I admit, I totally. <laughs> So much for the follow. Woo! <laughs> uh, like the energy, y'all. Welcome, welcome. BP. Hey, BP. People are sleeping. No, they're not. Not anymore. They're so awake now. I promise. Wait, six four. What? Is that a food game? Uh, it is, it is Nax next. Yosa Nax. Almost as loud as arms. Hey, arms, you, you got the volume up? Nice, nice. 
Uh, so chess brilliance. The cue is done through using channel points to challenge a dog to a game. That is to lock it in. Yes, you after next. Otherwise, you have to trust my brain, which he got a 50-50 shot. Maybe it's reliable. Maybe it's not. I try my best, though. I can't put my finger on it. There's something about this pawn. Something about it. Don't do it. No, oh, I I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do I didn't do Queen F5. But don't mate you. <sighs> But 6 4, it's a bishop checkmate. I'm sorry. You asked so nicely, but it's a bishop checkmate. That's such a nice checkmate. That's very mean. That's nice. Nice, nice checkmate. You, what would have been mean is me not checkmating. You know what I could have done? That's not what I could have done, 6 4. I could have pretended to be innocent. Like Queen F2. I could have pretended to be innocent. And then, you know what happens after Rook takes F7 and Bishop takes? You know you know what happens? This is mean. This is mean. Which is nice. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you went for chess.com. You look for me. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Actually, if I get banned, can it please be because I roasted someone? <laughs> can it please? Can that be the reason? Go back. I did have checkmate here. So what we're talking about? Check. Check, check. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I know. But I, I wanted I wanted to give 6-4 at least another move. Out of, out, of, out of the kindness of my heart. Uh, out of the kindness of my heart. All right, Nax, send me, send me your challenge. Let's do this. Let's blow this popsicle stand with beautiful chess moves. I, I'm not bad. Okay, I'm not bad. You asked me to roast you. Ah, 6-4. What happened in that game you beat me again? I, I tuned this out so hard. Ah, oh, that's, yeah. Okay, we cannot ever think about that. I had forgotten about that. Oh no. It is next. I did. I know. I hung mates. You tricked me in 30 seconds. Ah. I, I actually, so I learned this and I, I okay. It's, uh, I don't think it's a surprise, but um, many moons ago, we, we had an, we had, we, I played in the first Chess Dogs, like, OTB Blitz tournament. I played it. Rated. We played it. Um, Nax, can you send me an unrated challenge? We're just here to have a good time. Wait, no, you send me a 10-minute challenge. Hey, yo. No, 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 no. I already said 10 minutes too long. Um, but I played in it, and I played Matt. I played Matt, one of the other Chess Dogs, in the first round. I don't know what was going on in my brain, but... Uh, his queen was on b4 like this, and at one point I played rook b8. And my rook was not protected. Oh. And so he took my rook, and I, en I, I ended up flagging him. Um, you know, <laughs> that's, because that's me. And 
I, I wanted, because it was me and Matt, it was first test docs tournament. I'm like, hey, we played, I gotta go put this game in the database. And I remember the game perfectly, absolutely perfectly until that moment with Rook D8. And then I could not remember the game worth anything. And when it comes to replaying games, I have a pretty darn good recollection. But that game, because it was such a bad blunder, I did manage to remove it from my memory. I could not remember anything after that. Like, I remembered the rough idea of what happened in the game, but I could not play it out again. And so we don't have that game. <laughs> um, Scott, we technically started uh, streaming on Twitch the end of June. And then Tony, one of the other chess dogs, he came in on board like mid-August. And that's when we really started going hard with the streaming. Ska, have I seen this position? Let me pull it up while I wait. Uh, Max, you gotta send me, send me a not rapid unrated challenge. Pull up the classroom here. Oh, why is it not copy? Come on. Copy. What? Oh, don't tell me it's invalid. There it is. Wait. Ah. Have I seen this one? Oh, Vamps, good night. Sleep well. Uh, you invited me. I am not seeing the challenge. What pays more, my GM salary or Twitch? Hopefully, Twitch at some point. JBS, do I have good book recommendations? I have I've said this before. I'm not. The, I've I've never been the biggest uh, book reader. Um. So I, I'm I'm not particularly fantastic. I mean, I, I like how to reassess your chess. I liked uh, Dabrowski's Endgame Manual. Some of Dabrowski's other books. I liked My Great Predecessors by Kasparov. But yeah, I I admit book recommendations are always a. Or always a challenge for me because it just wasn't the biggest thing I did. Oh, the calculation book, yeah, the calculation by Jacob Jacob Agard. Oh, H1 Chess sent me a challenge. All right, H1, I I am waiting on a challenge from uh, Nax here. Nax, get back to me quickly. White to move and win. Yeah, we're for General Motors better no hopefully h1 scott thank you for the follow i i i i may i'll give i'll give uh max a 30 30 more seconds is that how the eyes look is that good oh that's not a good idea <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not hearing from Max. Um, Chess Brilliant in chat was also looking to get, play a game. Let me know. I'm gonna play H1. I'm getting one win. At least, uh, at least while I wait to hear back from both of them. Ah, you son of a biscuit. All right, I'm, uh, I'm I'm done talking. The, the board's been flipped. Y'all can have a nice day. I gotta I gotta I gotta zone in. Freaking freaking sinister over here. Stinking board flip. I love it so much. Uh, 
I didn't mean to do that. Oh, shoot. Oh, don't do that either. Oh, this is not good. Freaking hit the board flip so much. <laughs> uh, that's okay. That's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We, we always do, right? We just gotta, we just gotta make it spicy, apparently. All right, go for that. Oh, that was a slip. Ah! No! Oh gosh, I freaking hate flipboard. It's so stupid. I hate it so much. H1 takes me down in one game. GG. Uh Man, especially at the end there, like I, 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 I couldn't free move. It was not computing. Yeah, Chess Brilliant, send me the challenge. All right, I need to do a thing though. I'm gonna pause. No more flipping board. I'm done with it. <laughs> ah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. But uh, Chess Brilliant, are you Merc? GJ Sivera. Oh, okay, perfect. It's my first time too. Sounds very bad on purpose. That's okay. Six four. You, you... <laughs> Six four. You do well at being bad. Yeah, for the 600s, yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh. Do some chessable while watching a stream. Does anyone stream? Does anyone have any course recommendations? Oh, got you there. Got you there. You want to send the rematch? That was, uh, that was a bit fast. Yeah, this is very well sad. Harassment right there. Uh, you are bad. I mean, bad at talking. Oh, 1600 lead chess. Nice. Chess brilliant. Hey, this is freaking space cookies, eh? Not a fan of that song. Don't tell Tony. Please give him queen odds. This is just brutal. We're just playing chess, you know? We're just chilling. Yeah, take you. I mean, I, I could have just taken and played Rook C8. I think that was maybe technically better, but this looked more interesting. I guess it kind of peters out a little bit though with that trade. Or takes b7 yeah but we'll bring we'll bring the spice back wait a 
a second. Wait a second, there was something, there was something I was thinking you had to defend. Ah! Oh, GM Canty dropping his testable course. Perfect. Love it. Canty is in chat. Let's go. Thanks for the game. You marked me the first two. I will get revenge, H1. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that was good. You played that really well. The Jedi Master. The Jedi Master in chat. GM Canty thinks he is Hikaru. I mean, have you like watched a Canty stream? He's kind of awesome. Canty subscribed with Prime. Thank you so much. Much appreciated, friends. Raid. A beautiful chestable recommendation in chat. And a freaking sub. Damn, is it still Christmas? A mouse slip. Ah, dang. Yeah, there's not much I can do for you there as far as, like, trying to not... <laughs> Not, uh, like, give you another chance with the mouse slip. It's, bonds don't go backwards, unfortunately. Jackie the Swede, good morning. Good morning, welcome. <laughs> I know you'll eventually adopt me. Ah, uh, I don't know. Sinister B, B a lurking sometimes, H1. I think this is it. You know, actually, G4 to cover this square it may not be a bad, like that bad of a move, because there are some definite lines where I have like some bishop takes G3 idea and I win the pawn. Uh, and that was one of them. Like rook on C2, like potentially there was some sort of take and bishop takes G3. Kind of interesting. Yeah, rook b6. Studying before bed. Yeah, that's the... <laughs> I tell you guys, I saw Canty in action at Timber Moose. Uh, he, he he, he's not the kind of person that is studying before bed, or says he's studying before bed and isn't. Work The work ethic's there. Crazy. I don't know what I was hoping for, but like maybe if I got really close to the monitor, I'd be inspired, and I was not. Jedi never jumps; he levitates. He's gonna play G three earlier because it blocks your your pair up with the bishop. Yeah, yeah, chess brilliant. I think G three earlier definitely. Could have been better. Good night, ramen lord. Lord of the ramen. Get some awesome rest or morning. I know where you live. Have an awesome day. Afternoon. Any of the above. Okay, I'm only up one pawn. So going for some sort of an end game. Probably a little questionable. I think I'm just gonna drop back for now. Rook b8. Okay, rook e3, the queen finally is free. Okay, here. 
No. No, not like this. GG, GG, my friend. That game, uh, that game was much better. The game was much better than the first one. I, uh... Yeah, it really was just this moment you let me take on H2. Makes your life a lot harder. Surprisingly, I didn't I didn't get as much as I, I wanted with my 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 queen over there. Oh, Nax! Nax finally sent the challenge. Alright, let me let me play Nax and then uh, Chess Brilliant. We can send it. I thought Nax disappeared. Wait, Nax! No. Okay. Let's get to say. Hey yo, H1 with the subscription. Thank you so much. And a hype train. Hey yo. What a hype night. Thank you so much. for Bishop D2. Try and get this more into the Bogo. Alright, alright. Little E3. Actually, I think I'm going to play Knight Takes. If C takes. Somewhere I just like the idea of being able to play Queen F3. And I think it works a bit better with a3, because now bishop takes c3, bishop takes c3, and this diagonal, it, it breathes. It breathes a bit more instead of just being blocked by a pawn on d4. Yeah, if you go there, I think first, take. How confident am I? How confident am I that this works? You know? <laughs> if nothing else, it's fun enough to play. If nothing else, it's fun. I think it works though. The important thing is after king takes... Oh wait, if you go there, I got b4. I say the important thing is after takes that I don't go queen d4 because then knight f6, but I go queen g4. Because now if the interception with the knight. Ooh, wait, that's spicy. Hold on. He's hitting me with a spicy queen f5. Oh, oh, God. I gotta be shaking a little bit. I think I'm fine with f3, but oh, queen f5. What a little maneuver. Queen a5, queen f5. And then... Yeah, okay, let's take... And be boring! Because I think positionally... I like, I like my pawns better. Do I have the donation button where you get 100% of the amount? Subscriptions are like garbage 50%. Uh, they're not the best, that's for sure. Uh, the donation button, if you are watching on the screen, should be in our about information down below. If you are on the phone, I think you have to go into our profile to see the different links, which would include a donation. Let's bring the king in. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm a big fan of king marches. And my demons are telling me king e3. So, I, you know, it's late. Let's let's see where this leads.
you know, I'm a fan of King March. Let's let's just see where it leads. King of four. Ah, lame. He stopped my King March. So what do we got? What do we got? We got to we got to create space. That's what we got to do with G four and G five and kick the king back. No, let me march my king. Maybe I should actually be afraid though, like a little bit. I I'm I, I may be in the bounds of like crossing the line soon. Soon. We're not there yet, but soon. Yeah, like really soon. It's it's fine though. It's fine. Save. None of this hiding kings behind pawns garbage. The king is a piece and it should attack. Ooh, I gotta be careful though. Let's go. I know because that allows with d1. I think let's go with a maybe a preemptive king e3. I think the preemptive king e3 is hopefully the answer. I guess it I guess it didn't change anything. But now now that I'm thinking about it, I think this is fine. I think I think I can make this work. I can drop back. Oh, maybe we can't make this work. Maybe maybe my king's wings are about to get burnt. They flew too close to the sun. All right, that d4 pawn is gonzo. It's gone. Telling you your PayPal account is restricted. Oh, dang. Hey, GBS, I appreciate that you're doing that, though. Oh, shoot. It's a bit sketchy. Yeah, that pawn's gone. It's donezo. It's donezo. Should be four. Um, okay, that's an interesting move. Oh, shoot. We can't play Rook G1. Oh, Rook G1 was this bad. Oh, my goodness. Rook G1 was the worst move ever. Now, now I just lose my stuff. All right, all right. We gotta hit the flag zone. It's a minute. That's a lot. I'm down on time, but we gotta hit the flag zone.
Intense music, engage. And we're dancing. And we're dancing. I'm coming after you. You cannot escape. You cannot escape. My king is so powerful. Oh. What? 1300 beat you? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Plain to <laughs> uh, GG. 100% clean. played a good game but you were not ready for the dirty flag it's the one move very few people anticipate how did we play this last time i didn't it was okay what we what we did last time was okay it wasn't my favorite though for trusting you what do you mean, head scratch for trusting you? You think I shouldn't have? You think it too, eh? Dax, what do you mean? Why the cry face? Interesting. It's a bit funky, but I feel like Bishop E6 is, is the move. I feel like it's the move. I get a weird pawn structure, but I'll get a nice support for my pieces on D5. Alright, so if you go there... Tempted. Tempted to go for this, but... That's a bit... That's a bit questionable. Just a little bit. Yeah, I think this is okay. Next, uh, either bishop takes e5 or queen d5. Depending on what is played, that feels like a bishop takes e5. I think I'm happy with this trade. Particularly if there's no castle, because... I'll be able to sort of rush things, right? I think I start here to cover d7, and then I want knight c4. Just hitting all of the things. Yeah, knight c4. And I... Oh, I gotta be... I gotta be a little bit mindful here. So, I 
Got to be careful because as much as it looks like it, like it really appears that my back rank is covered. Uh, I could actually get in a lot of trouble if a rook does come down, king f7, but rook f8. So I do, I do need to be a little bit cautious. I, I was thinking about it because if, if the rook trade there, and then rook c1, knight takes. Um, okay, this is a really bad line because rook c7 just blunders me in one. But rook c7, if I, if I went for rook d7 there and, and stopped protecting... The C file, then, then I'm in trouble. Here, Rook D7, I think, works. Because now my back rank is covered. Wait, 6-4, you just played Matt in Bullet? <laughs> he declined your rematch. He, he, he doesn't play rematches. Matt does not play rematches. The guy has played 200,000 games online. But does not play rematches. I don't know why that's... Uh, maybe that's, I guess that's not significant, but it, it is kind of crazy to me that, I don't know, I just feel like if you have that many, hate wolf just raided with hey, hey, hate wolf, brain hype, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> of course, <laughs> uh, thank you so much, let me, let me, let me pause the music, I'm gonna hit y'all with a loud sound warning, because we do have a thing for raids, but make sure to turn down your volume, or you will be so brutally awakened to the reality of life that you may have to get new ears. And with that, I do know what to do. I'm not bad. I absolutely knew. Hate Wolf, welcome. That's the raid shark. Did it get louder or something? <laughs> it did not. It did not, I promise. A draw? No, 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 no. Not a draw. You, you got some pawn troubles, friend. And even if you didn't, I'm a, not a fan of draws. Lots of raids today. Yeah, it's been... Excuse me, absolutely pumping with raids. That's all, that's good. Uh, Nax, I am sorry. I, Tony is the Spanish speaker. All right, 93. Actually, I don't think we take this pawn. We go after these pawns. Hey, Sinister, thank you so much for influencing the raid. Hey, Wolf, enjoy your sleep. Thank you all so much. You have wonderful holidays as well. All right, GG, GG. Um, <clears throat> let's take a quick look. Let's take a quick gander. Technically still okay, even after I take on e5, so this was okay, but it wants you to play rook fc1 here. Ah, rook fc1, because now after take, I have to play knight takes, because rook takes gets mated. Oh. So you go for the c file control take this forces knight takes and now rook c7 it's a bit awkward i gotta play knight b6 rook d7 here and okay you still create some issues for me with rook f3 it's just a, i guess it's just a little bit better version i think especially with my knight on b6 here you got the pawn but this end game yeah it's just with this weak pawn and uh, these other pawns is just too too tough too tough all right i think uh i think i'm actually gonna jump back into the three minute pool here try and get a few games uh probably be finishing up pretty soon here 
but it's been it's been uh, fun to play a lot of amazing games and uh even lost one sadly uh, h1 h1 got me and mb got me but that's <laughs> that's a that's a very unique story i blame vamps for that one if she redeems the resign immediately i respected it ah oh, silly Hmm, I'm gonna drop back at an F4. H1. Hey, H1 will save for the moment until next time he streams. It is lurking. Yeah, that's fair. That's good. That's good. Uh, I'll, I'll keep that little bit of salt then. I'll keep that little bit of salt till next time I stream too. You know. Gotta, gotta keep a little bit of that seasoning. Okay, he did drop back, which is good. Um, actually, yes, I think I, I think I play Rook D4 first. And now, just, just because I think this bishop's a little bit better on E7, supporting the D8 square. Well, that's going to be particularly important if my opponent goes for the trades. Uh, because if he takes the rook, take, plays rook d8, and I play queen d1, I, I will... Okay, I mean, he, he didn't go for rook d8, but I still, I dominate this file. Bishop's not on e7 to, to allow rook d8. A new cowboy! Hey, yo! H1, is that is that gonna be your new stream, the cowboy? The chess cowboy. Maybe. Oh. Send him a biscuit. It's actually annoying. I don't love that it's annoying, but it actually is annoying. Gambit a pawn. All right, maybe I'll, I'll try to gambit a pawn next game. We're 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 a bit into this game for me to. I mean, technically, <laughs> technically there are a few. Okay, he's going. That's a okay. I I get it. I get it. I can't take. You're all fancy, but. I guess in a nice way. Yeah, he, he uh, gets some tricks. Hey, yo. Wow. That's actually nasty. Hold on. Hold on, my opponent's actually cooking out of nowhere. What the heck? He's just popping the attacks off. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Ah, and then Rook D1. Oh, geez. I don't even think there's a way I can uh, delay this. I tried this, but take and, and G takes is a nasty mate. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Wow. He just, uh, he just clicked there. Gambit? This is a gambit, right? It's how gambits work. This is how chess works. <laughs> totally a legit opening, by the way. Top notch. Wow, actually did get him to give up the bishop. Maybe it is a good opening. Hold on. 6-4, you are by far the most loved. I, I believe it. Member of chat? Yeah, of course. 
Ouch. I don't know what you mean. That was completely... That was completely sincere. Full of sincerity. None of me. What the heck? Another raid. Oh my gosh. The raids be cooking tonight. Wow, none of me. Thank you so much. Calif 100 just joined the doghouse. Much appreciated. Welcome, raiders. We do have a raid thing. Oh, I did not. I just did the wrong. Who put me in charge of? Young underscore K one Young one just joined the doghouse. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, it's a bit late, and I am messing up the shout out so hard. We do have a raid thing though. I will warn all of you raiders. It is a loud sound warning. So welcome. Turn your volume down. Uh. And thank you so much once again for the raid. Don't pay attention to me. This works right we need we need five welcome welcome oh you love it thank you so much we it, it's really grown on me we've been we've been doing it for for quite a minute now and it's it's really grown on me what the heck man my opponent borderline pre-move those wow this guy's cracked. Like, I'm not even feeling bad by the fact that I'm, like, not doing so well against them. They just are kind of good. They're kind of good. That's... <laughs> what do you say? What do you do when your opponent's, like, actually kind of good? Do you just, like, quit? Is that is that the secret? You just, like, don't play them. Okay, maybe we can cook with this pass pawn though. Can we cook? And a uh, 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 sneaky knight. Oh. All right, we gotta we gotta go on the defensive, frick. This is a uh, Rocket League music, actually. Good old Monster Cat. Oh, oh, we're fading. We're fading down the stretch. Yeah, I'm gonna call it. Dang, dude. Uh. I'm okay, actually. Man, my, my opponent, I, this is insane. So fast. 87 accuracy, too. They're just cooking. <laughs> Raiders want to... Okay, okay. I got to lock in. I got to lock in. I, I apologize. That, that's, that's on me. I, I forgot. I thought you guys wanted to see losses and... Uh, no one let me know. Where is the update? Yeah, who is this? This is Paul oh, William. I think I've seen him. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't think I've ever been at a tournament with him, but I've definitely seen his name. 
Yeah, this is fine. After takes, I can't play knight takes, but... Oh, wait, d4? This feels good, though. I think I just... I think I just uh, go for the queen trade, like a lame person. Because boring is good sometimes. Like, you don't want your opponent to have any for any fun. So we just go for the trade, and it's going to be very difficult for him to develop this bishop. Particularly with 95. <laughs> Nachos and a good knight. Oh, wait, JBS. Are you are you actually Buenos Nachoing? How long does it take to get the title? It took me 13 years, but I, I mean... Is there like an actual guaranteed if you spend the time like that's this how long you're gonna do it? No, for sure not. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on, we're cooking now. Yeah, I, I think that's fine. Uh, he, he can have his a3 pawn push. I'm still locked into taking on b6. d7 is just a super obnoxious thing for him to deal with. And now I bring my rook into the game. Yeah, rook b3. Wait a second. Mm. Yeah, it includes c7. Prevents bishop takes. And if there, we do take, yeah. Check, take, and then you take this pawn. Whew. That was the dance. Ah, avoided my, my trap of the bishop to force the trade. What is this? What is the king doing? What is the king doing? Oh my gosh. He's running. He's running the king. Excuse me, sir. I I think you uh, left something at airport security. Your your immediate attention is required. Actually, I want to go here. Because I want to leave this square open for my knight, eventually. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There's the trade. And the GG's. Look, guys, I can win games. What the heck? I can win games. I believe it or not. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. <laughs> uh, as long as you start playing the day you were born, you should be able to get GM. Ah, that's great in theory, Afi, but even then, it's still hard. Chess is hard. Improving is difficult. Like it's such a complicated game. Nah, bro. Hey, GM, I proved from 576 to 510 in 10 days since you began learning. That is really good progress. That's, uh, my, my advice when it comes to learning, focus on that next 100 points. And if you can keep hitting those next 100 points with the work you're doing, that's excellent. Now, admittedly, that 100 points gets harder. It gets harder the more you play, but... Avi, thank you for the follow. Young King, good night. Thanks for tuning in. A6. E5. I think 
it's Queen C seven here. A lot of people go for this bishop h6, and I, th I think practically it's a decent idea. I think technically, like, I should be absolutely fine against this, but practically it's kind of scary. Uh, Rook e8, it's, it's an idea I found from a few games by Daniel Duboff. The explanation for it... It's kind of a mess. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of a mess. Uh, I really like the move. But basically, the idea is if your opponent goes for queen d2 and castling queenside, you want to play d5 instead of instead of d6. So rook e8, like amidst all the moves in that position, rook e8 is like the best waiting move instead of playing d6 like it's a slight slightly improving move uh because you're waiting to see if white goes for castle and queenside and if white goes for castle and queenside you play e6 d5 and the rook actually ends up being quite useful on e8 so yeah it's just it's just kind of a subtle kind of a subtle thing but a really really nice idea I don't know. I just want to I just want to make that king that queen go to h2. Is it good? Probably. Then we go back. That makes sense. Yeah, it's It's kind of a new move in this accelerated dragon positions, but it it scores actually very well for black. I think because it is such a surprise but it does tend to get more into just like re like like the position we're playing just kind of like a reasonable position where we're both playing we're both trying to come up with ideas rather than the absolute uh chaos that can come from some of the lines with castle and queen side f6 to stop e5 Maybe even discourage some at play on the the other the the, the king side. Yeah, I think this is good. No h five. Uh, okay, this does allow knight f five, but uh, knight f five isn't really too threatening yet. Uh, I'll have to watch out for it. It's really not too threatening really not too threatening right we're in agreement nikita we're in agreement right okay you're gonna you're gonna go for the maneuver that's fair When in doubt, just be greedy. That does look scary, yeah. Mm -hmm. Knight takes f6, knight takes f6. I see what you're saying. Uh, I think I dance. I just, I step to the side, king g7. This is hanging. This is technically hanging now. And I think I'm chilling, actually. Like, rook takes d6. Nice idea. Nice idea. But I think I'm chilling. Check. Okay, now we go for bishop e6. Opponent's got to watch out for bishop h3 at some point. <laughs> I'm just so tired of this rook being here. Can we do something about that, please? Okay, my opponent is going for it because of the time situation. I think the easiest way... 
gonna be the take. And then just take here. Like not 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 deal with taking the rook. Just bring the queen over for the protection and yeah, the flag. Woo! That was an intense game. That wasn't my opponent really came after me for that one. Really came oh high quality chess. Oh, I'm playing high quality chess. I don't know who this is, but it's in the name. The name is self-explanatory. Oh, unless <laughs> The highest quality chess. Aborting the game. 100% accuracy. Never loses. Zero mistakes. Yeah. Uh, is the auto abort? Oh. They did end up playing. Okay. Little tricks. D5 is an idea. Oh, what? Does that work? Queen B6? Because if I go here, what are we doing? Now you're going knight D5? Seems reasonable. Let's just casually play bishop E2. Like, nothing's going on over here. <laughs> it's giving you time odds, out kind. Hey, sometimes it works psychologically. It's just like, ah, they, you know, I'm up on time. They can mess you up. Okay, now, now 9b5 is, is an issue. Now 9b5 is an issue. This is the Jobava trap. Uh, weird inclusion with Queen B6, Bishop B2, but that's a lot of the idea. Uh, so I, I don't I don't go for a traditional Jobava. I, I I play a delayed Knight C3 if I do play Knight C3 uh, against Fianchetto variations. I sometimes play Bishop G5 um, instead, bring the Bishop to G5. But against lines like this, I play Knight C3 because you sort of taunt my opponent with with uh d5 and when they play d5 then i hit him with knight b5 mm. wait a second hold, hold hold on hold on i'm i'm thinking about this i'm thinking about this but let's 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 What's the better move? Knight g6? I think knight g6. Go after that rook? Barnes opening fools me. AJ, what? <laughs> what? What did I do to you? AJ, where is Tony? Tony is in Hawaii. That guy's chilling. Uh, for the Raiders that have not seen us before, Chess Dogs, there are three of us. Me, Tony, and Matt. Uh, Tony is the number one after dark streamer he streams the most after dark he is currently out of town in hawaii having a having a, a good old time <laughs> the night's perfectly safe on each eight i wonder if maybe knight d7 was the better way to go i could believe it because that night uh it's 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 uh it's thinking about getting trapped and I, I wish it wouldn't i wish it would think about other more pleasant things let's actually three i think we have three Ooh, he's gonna go for it, eh? He's not afraid. Ooh. 
Ooh, I do think that works. Okay, but we take there, we ruin the structure just a tiny bit. Hit him with this, and then C3. We prevent knight E2, and knight C2, now we get rook E2. That's why this rook and not the other rook. Oh, draws are lame. Losing is more lame, though. But <laughs> hopefully that's not part of the conversation. Run, King, run! No! No! Come on! No! Ah! Hey, I'm just noob. How's it going? I was a little too slow. Uh, AJ, when you say Barnes opening fool's mate, do you just, are, are you actually talking about the fool's mate? Like you want me to try and get fool's mated? I need, I need clarification. Dang. I'm just so slow in, in, uh, in Blitz. I don't know what it is. Like, I'm fine in Bullet, but yeah, then I play Blitz and I'm like, too slow. Oh no, 6 4, you're completely tilting? AJ, so you want me to try and get fools made at F4, G4. That, that, that is... Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Your 3000 bullet, yes. My bullet skills are on point. My blitz, uh, you know, my blitz tonight, it's all right. And part of the balance between <laughs> thinking and speedy and blitz. That's true. Bullets just speed. Like, you definitely want to try and think, but there's one pace 100% of the time. Maybe I just need to start trying to pick up the pace altogether in blitz. I think I've, I've been playing so much bullet that, like, blitz just feels like enough time that, like, I can think, but reality is I cannot. <laughs> it still should be playing quite fast. And it gets me. Can I reach 2800 Blitz? I definitely can and have a few times. And usually my personal account, like my not streaming account, is at 2800. I'm a little bit below right now. But yeah, I don't know what it is. Uh, the actual Chess Dogs account, it's just not clicking with the Blitz. The Bullet, however. Did I just pre-move hanging my queen? Probably not. <laughs> uh, that's been part of it. I, I, uh, I've actually had quite a few, like, accidental pre-moves today. I, I managed to catch pretty much all of them and keep from playing them, but I've gotten into a bad habit of tapping, like, clicking on pieces. And the problem with that, if you sit here and click, Depending on where you click, it will keep as, as if that piece is touched. And it becomes very easy 
all of a sudden to slip. Uh, let's maneuver this knight to e6. Okay, never mind. Let's maneuver this knight to e6. This knight to f3. Would I ever think about coaching a viewer to get to 2300? I'm a chess noob. Dude, probably the closest thing I do to that is game analysis on Mondays. It is a uh, probably the number one point where I take, you know, games that viewers sent in. We go through them. We talk about the things that they can work on and whatnot. Yeah, cheeky bishop f4. I think it's actually gonna be pretty sweet. Like here, my opponent can sack the rook for the two pieces, which generally is better. The two pieces are generally better, but in this case, oh, in this case, hold on. I really just want to keep sacking this bishop. I will get my opponent to take it. He will keep resisting. Oh, gosh, come on. <laughs> I am so determined. Why are you being a punk? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta pick up the pace here. <laughs> Rick F1, come on, repetition. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no way. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, okay, Bishop G3. Oh wait, I just blundered my stuff. Oh my gosh, not Bishop G3. That's okay, we're playing fast, right? That's what's important here. Oh, and we're blundering all this stuff. Oh gosh. I don't know. Let's put the rook on H8. It will get there eventually. <laughs> uh, this is not my day this is not my day he didn't take my bishop I'm very upset yeah No! No! What the heck? Ugh. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. Ah. Uh, Night takes was not the right move. It was not the right move. Barnes fools me. All right, I'm playing f4 g4, and that's it. And I thought, and I can recall as well, that I was top being up a piece is winning, right? But I just lost the up a piece, so the statement must be wrong. Uh, Ralph, by the way, very very nice bond. So sophisticated, very nice. What do you call a fish that wears a bow tie? No, no, no. I, I'll I'll play rated. At this point, it can't get worse. Unless I freaking play Nigel short. What the heck? What? Wait, is this an actual Nigel short that I'm about to do this? Yeah, okay, cool. No streaming. Oh, what the heck? This guy. Some people are like that. I don't, uh... 
This isn't the first times this has happened to me. I, I don't know, Nigel, if you're tuning in, I, I, I'm streaming. That's it. That's. I mean, I don't. I, I'm not gonna hit the stop streaming button because. I don't know what you want from me, guy. It's it's kind of reality. What what? What what happened to the auto abort? Is the auto abort not working? No way, that's Nigel Short. But he has the GM title, right? And he's had the account since 2013. Wait, he's gonna say? Okay, there it is. I was gonna say, he's getting no streaming, and then he's not gonna he's not gonna abort the game. I was ready to play the fool's man. I started at four. Hey, friendo. Wait, six four. What's the wayward queen attack? I'm pretty sure I've heard of that one. How many times did I steamroll Hikaru? I have beaten Hikaru one time in my life. Bro doesn't want that screenshot. Uh. Like, could this really not be Nigel Short, though? I mean, he's had the account since 2013. He he only has one friend. That kind of sounds like Nigel Short. Oh, wait. I'm a big fan of Nigel Short. Love to play his own. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Did, oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. That's not supposed to happen. The Raid Shark... Made <laughs> so sorry. The raid shark made a surprise appearance. Good morning, everybody. Wait, E3 then E4? No, you this is a line. This is a line, but not with uh not you're just down to move. I should have played a6 first, technically. Am I not up a pawn? Do I not know how to count? I'm up a pawn. Okay, it's not the easiest. I guess I'm not up a pawn. Let's just pretend. Yeah, let's go for rook b2. We were queen attack is e4, d4, and then queen h5. Okay, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Ah, what the heck? Does this this doesn't really work, does it? Let's go back for a second. Alright, you're gonna go back to or you're not gonna repeat? No, that's fine.
Don't do it. Don't repeat. That's lame. All right. You you leave me no choice. Yeah, I know. But you know we we play on. We we play on. At least a little bit. All right, here's my question to you. I know this is a bit late, but why do you think that guy didn't want to play while I was streaming? Like, that's a weird thing, right? Like, that's that's kind of a strange thing. Your games are out there. Your games are public. I, I could go pull up their games right now and stream them. Like, there's nothing they could do to stop me. So why... Why refuse to play me because I'm streaming? What is this? What is that? <laughs> is he's imitating Nigel Short? That's actually a pretty good theory. Yeah, I was. Uh, I thought Rick C1. I was hopeful for Rick C1, but. I'm trying. I'm trying to fool his mate. They're not cooperating. I'm just, I'm just too low on time. Ah, I'm too slow. Dang it. It's okay, me, me and you, six four, me and you, we're 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 going down. Dang, this was so funky. Like my opponent busted this out, and it was actually somewhat legit. I, yeah, I tried to go back for this, but Rook takes d five was, like I thought this would be more of an issue. Oh no, Rook takes. Yes, Rook takes a five. Ah, uh, yeah, I just. AJ, let me try. Let me try. See, look, I did it. Ta da! <laughs> My opponent knew exactly what to do. Ugh. Uh, I'll uh, I'll try to play the Wayward Queen as well. Oh gosh. Wait, we got a pawn? We got a pawn? I'm only down two pawns. That's positive. Wait, sir? Sir? Hello? You forgot your queen. Oh my gosh. My opponent's going to be so tilted. He's going to be so tilted after this. 
Uh, I just played F4, G4 on him, and this is... Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna send a rematch. I, I don't think he wants to play me again. Uh, Alright, the Wayward Queen's a wide opening, right? Is it, a, is it technically an opening? Are we counting that as an opening? Imagine losing from a fool's man. It couldn't be me. Because you would be watching the stream, and you would know that you play e5. Although, I don't know. It would take a lot. It would take a lot for me to still play it. <laughs> if it's actually going to be me. Like, it's still really bad, but, like, actually moving into to move, uh, I don't know. Uh, the competitive side. The competitive side of me. Okay, let's go for it. This is fine. Knight c7, king f8. We'll, we'll run. We'll run for the glory. Oh, 6-4. Six, six, You've lost uh, eight times in a row. You should try playing the fool's mate. That, that actually kind of snapped me out of it. I just I just won a nice game. You're like 1870. Oh gosh. Um. Okay. Yeah, that's uh. That's a bit inconvenient. It's okay. It's okay. I think I can make this work. Castle, rook c4, knight d5. He thought he had me. Okay. I think this is a plus, though. To get rid of the two bishops? I think that's a plus. That's quite the... Hey, I mean, if it works, it works, right? I play fool's mate, I'll tell you. It works for me. I kind of want knight f4. It's a bit of a funky move, but... Okay, now we keep him from castling. At this point, we are going fully for practical chances. Interesting. Oh my gosh, Gambit upon. <sighs> AJ, what did I do to you? <laughs> what uh It's it's cause Tony's not here, isn't it? It's cause Tony's not here. It's not my fault. I would want Tony here too. But he's in Hawaii. does get an a4 he does get an a4 that bad that's really bad yeah
<laughs> okay. <laughs> he figured it out. Uh. He was dancing a little bit. Okay, what what am I doing again? I'm trying to gamut wand, and we're doing the wave. Oh my gosh. Is this how you do it? This better be. And that that is upon gambited, so we're counting all the things. All the things being counted right now. Yes, okay, perfect. <laughs> Because uh, if it's not, I don't know what to tell you, my friend. Oh, uh, jeez. Alright. You know, it's not, it's not too bad. As far as an opening like this goes, it's not too bad. AJ, I just want you to know, I hate you, <laughs> but, but like in, in, in the best of ways, in the best of ways, like not, not true hate, but I just need you to know, you know, I, I feel like at this point, I've known you well enough, I can say it. That's it. That's all I needed to say. Yeah, Bishop F5 is so annoying. If <laughs> Tony were here, I would be giving a dare to slap you. I was studying a Smith Moore course, just of course, as I watch. I was so excited until Queen H5. You and me both, Sinister. You and me both. Like, ah! I did not want to do this. But they redeemed, choose an opening, and chose whatever the wayward queen attack is, which is apparently what I played. He's not taking the pawn. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't take on C2 there. I think it kind of made sense. I'm gonna put this knight on f3. I do want to be careful of any sort of uh, checkmate issues. And possibly leave the door open for 94 at the right moment. Wait, let's lock that in. Lock that h6 pawn in. He's just going to continue putting that little bit of pressure. All right, we I can dance. I'm, I'm not the one pushing for a win here. I, I, I can accept that. <laughs> I can accept that so much.
Okay, knight is on d4. Pawn is on f3. E6. E6. It's actually not that bad. We're actually kind of cooking with the craziness and terribleness that was. Oh, oh no, 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 Oh, oh, that's so many blunders. Oh, that's so many blunders. But we didn't lose. We did not lose that. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh we didn't lose that. And oh, I had him too. And then I mouse slipped. Oh, I mouse slipped my stupid flip board. AJ, I love you, but like, it's a love hate relationship. Moist ketchup. What a name. All right. This is my time. Taking. Interesting. Of all the lines I've had. Six, four. Because we are a family friendly channel, I will not say what I want to say to you, but I'm hoping by simply stating that I cannot say what I want to say to you, that you understand. If <laughs> I don't get Elo, you won't. Uh, six four, I tried to give you so much good advice. I tried to be there for you. I also trolled you so much, but you don't need to do this. Six more. I have the high ground. You don't need to do this. Don't do this, six more. <laughs> My advice consisted of get better. I mean, that's great advice. What are you talking about? And it was it was more words than that. I can do this many many more times. Oh gosh. At, at what point, being a chess dog, does this constitute animal abuse? I'm pretty sure we're getting there. You will lose against Moist Ketchup. Well, see, but the problem is with Gambit upon. Like, I totally would, but I like I need I need like a good opportunity. I guess that was a technically a good opportunity. E five. My opponent's probably going to be confused, but that's a semi decent not good opportunity. The Gambit upon. And check that off. Who's going to say E five? Well, oh, Johnny. Yeah, so helpful. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you for uh, having ideas on how I can gambit pawns. <sighs> He's gonna take on b7. Oh, jeez.
I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore. I'm just starting attack. I'm just gonna attack some stuff. We gotta go turbo. We gotta go turbo. That's my only hope. Okay, okay, he took so much time. We got a chance. We got a chance. We gambited upon. We're blundering things. We're flipping a board. But you know what? Oh gosh, that's such a good move. That's kind of, that's kind of a good move, eh? Oh, sorry. Did you want me to? I, I mean, I, I lost all my stuff, so. Johnny Smith, let's <laughs> see catch you later. Uh. All right, all right. I'm gonna refund you for that. You know what I'm gonna do? I, I need, I need some clean games. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come in here. Just uh, gonna do some stuff to these uh, channel point redeems, real quick. A little bit of a side note, but. Six four. I am a dirty GM, but you gotta be. When your chat comes after you, you gotta you gotta be a little dirty. What rook d one? Is that a move? All right, let's bring this bishop around. Hey, bishop be four. I think I'm gonna dance. Bring this bishop. Okay, never mind. No dancing for that bishop. I fully, I, I was ready for it.
Okay, start with D8. The opening could have gone better, but I think I think I'm gonna slowly untangle here. I think I start to untangle here. Yeah, F6. Start to try to disrupt this a little bit. What, 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 what is he? What is he going for? No, my opponent's playing pretty well, but I feel like my opponent's plans also are just like a little discombobulated. Actually, let's go with this. Because if I can get my Rook out, I think my piece placement's pretty nice with this 9 on E5. Uh, I think he thought I had some idea for... After Rook takes E5, my idea was really just Rook B8 and kind of the same thing. What the heck? Hey, yo. That's GG's back rank. We got him! We got him! Late night crawl back. No. <laughs> Late night crawl back. Here we go. Wait a second, knight b5, hold on. Is that just GG's? It looks like it could be, honestly. Knight c7, how do you stop knight c7? friend here has any answers. 6-4 just lost the game of a queen. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. <laughs> this ain't my mind right now. Uh, no worries, 6-4. Happens to the best of us. That hey, tilting is in the stream name. So I guess it's it's kind of the maybe maybe it was uh subconscious uh what is that? What's the suggestion? How do you say that? Wait a second, hold on. Isn't this just checkmate if he doesn't take? Okay, I'm not gonna pre-move that just in case he decides to play queen d6 for whatever reason, but. Subliminal messaging, yes, thank you. Oh, the rematch. The message was there. 
And unfortunately, it has been received. Okay, I think this is fine. I'm gonna... Actually, any reason I can't... I, I think this is maybe the slightly better way to do it. Yeah, bishop a3, queen a5, probably just a little bit better to have. Hey yo, friend. I mean, I guess it's not completely losing, but... I don't know, something about a pawn on f2 just doesn't feel right. For white. <laughs> something about it. Hmm. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I respect it, but I think I'm going to get away with knight g5. I possibly could have made uh Wait a second. Ah, man, this is like a, this is crazy. This is kind of crazy. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, knight, knight e5. What am I what am I thinking about? For some reason I thought after queen d4, knight takes that he could take my bishop. Hey, uh, just lost a game up a bishop as well. What a uh, hey, MB, welcome back. Yeah, let's not let's not get too greedy here. Just take the material, put pressure on c5. Hey, whoa, that was actually a good trick. That was actually a good trick. Hold on. Our friend here be cooking. Okay, we'll cook him back. I don't even have slipped your queen. <laughs> Wait, 6-4, how many games? How many games in a row have you lost at this point? Just so we can we can fill your pain. Hmm. Almost 10 with one flag in between. Hey, at least you got the one. At least you got the one. You know, let's rejoice in the one. It's okay, 6-4. It happens to the best of us. Don't get too discouraged. It happens to all of us. 
sadly. Oh, oh, wait. We're gonna cook him back. We are gonna cook him back. He was cooking for a little bit there, but we got the revenge cook. Ooh, that's nasty. Look at this. Queen d6 with the fork. I'm not bad. Just played a game and you're actually was 48 percent. Hey, do we, do we need to do we need to change this? This is this, this. come come walla. Misery loves company. That's gonna be the new stream name. Hey guys, hey guys, don't don't fight. Especially <laughs> particularly not about that. No, no, who's who's worse? I don't know, it's interesting. Two knights versus two bishops here? I just forgot tactics exist. Well, I'm here to tell you I'm not bad. Tactics do exist. And uh, you should watch out for them. This has been your public safety announcement from... Yours truly, GM Kaden Trove. Watch out for those tactics today. just keep the tension i don't see it yet and i don't want to play knight f2 yet because i want to play knight e5 if he plays f5 all right or or at least provoke this right wait hold on but i play ah uh, he wants rook a5 let's see it i don't mind okay but b4 it's not completely shut down. It's not completely locked. Okay, maybe it's completely locked. Let's be boring. Let's lock it. He wants to lock it. Let's lock it. I can play faster. That's fine. Oh, he doesn't want to lock it. H4. Where's the bishop going? I mean, nice maneuver, but E2, maybe? I don't think that's a big deal, though. Oh, oh. I should, I should have keep that square covered, yeah. I should keep that three covered, yeah. Mm hmm. The average accuracy of those 10 games was like 55%. Ouch. Yeah, that's that's not the best accuracy. I can't agree with you there. Just in chess, there's so many things you have to focus on at one time. Sometimes you can get overwhelmed. 
I don't know how people like you can do it. Still easy to get overwhelmed, I tell you. Oh my gosh. This guy is going for it, but... It is a little bit scary. He does have bishop takes e3. I think that's a, it's somewhat okay for me, though. Give or take. I guess I should pre-move it, just in case. Yeah, if the pawns get traded, it is a draw, but there's this thing called him having one second that is quite useful for this not being a draw. Oh, I got another, uh, I got a new game. I, I keep hitting rematch and new game at the same time to see what happens. Here I got a new opponent. It's okay. You can show some mercy to my other friend I was playing. Okay, okay, I don't mind. Queen on h3. Some holes on the king side. It doesn't feel too bad. Um, <laughs> Arena, more games. Uh, I'm at this point, it's like 2 40 a.m. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep playing games. I'm trying I'm trying I'm I'm actually winning some games now. So I'm actually just trying to possibly hopefully cross 2,700 again. That's kind of my goal. And uh, then I'll probably call it. I was up late last night too, so it's just been a couple of late nights. You stay up for another two hours, you can watch the beginning of the World Blitz. Wait, is it two hours? It's really not sooner. I know, two hours at this point. But that, what, starts to... Oh, wait, it's 20 minutes. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought... I thought it was somewhat closer. No, G6. interesting it's interesting i mean it should just be winning for me but it's still kind of funky okay 
Okay. I think now that the pressure is lessened here, we can just shut it down. That's fine. Let's trade off bishops. I got an absolute lock here. Yeah, and g5 now. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 minutes to... <laughs> I guess we're going. <laughs> we're cooking. Watch party. You know, at this point, let's freaking do it. Let's let's watch some of the at least some of the world blitz, right? We've made it this far. Let's do it. Was that a slip? Or my opponent just like absolutely ready to gambit that pawn? Interesting. It's weird. F5 was kind of a weird move to hesitate. Like, I don't know what else you're playing here. I wonder what my opponent was thinking about. You're going to let me take on D4, huh? How worried am I about Queen H4? Mm, I'm a medium amount. I'm a medium amount worried. I think we can do it this way. I think I'm okay and not panicking and just giving my king space. I think I'm okay in it. It's a bit, you know, it, it is what it is. That's, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. It just kind of is what it is. Keep going for it. All right, what did I miss? Yeah, okay. I go back. Oh!
I just realized this is a trap. Oh dear. I don't, I just, I don't think I have it. I don't think I have a defense. Yeah, 967. Dang. Wow, man. What the heck? My opponent just... Man, 9 of 5 was the move. Rook takes f6 is just absolute destruction because the knight takes f7. Ah. Um, Pablo, I think I'm just going to keep playing Blitz for right now. I'm trying to get my rating back over 2700. It's been, uh, I, I tilted a little bit. I got sabotaged by chat a lot of it. And we've fallen, but I think I can get it back up. I think I'm finally finding a bit more of my groups. That game was just, wow. My opponent just ate me there. That was quite intense, actually. Playing in Witty Arena, but staying in stream because of loyalty. You are the nicest chat member, 6-4. Clearly. I can't say it without sounding so sarcastic. I actually like want to be genuinely nice, but my sarcastic thoughts keep taking over every time I try. Okay, I pre-moved that because of course I'm taking, but I'm actually quite surprised. Go here. Hmm. Could be better. Could be better, but I, I think this bishop maneuver is pretty nice. And now I try and activate my rook. What what winning idea does he have? That he's just furiously going for the rook to b2. Is he just blundering the house? Gucci. Oh yeah, you are five hours late, but that's okay. You're right on time. <laughs> I did indeed sound very sarcastic. But you'll take it as a compliment. That's good. You should take it as a compliment. Oh, oh yeah, I don't know. Wow, actually it says I played well. 
yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, that was confusing, but okay, we'll take it, we'll take that win. Wait a second, can we... Yes, I want some Tokyo Machine. Specifically this song. This C4, C5, um, I saw it once, I, I want to say in a Man Majarov game. And if you get into the technicalities for both sides, it can actually be like quite a mess. I don't remember if it's with the bishop on e2 or the bishop on d3, but yeah, it's, it's it's kind of a messy line. I think I think white's actually supposed to play e4, and uh, I don't know it's just it's just interesting. Let's try and dominate this slight diagonal. I think queen b4 is the right play. Really thinking about take and 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 quite you know just take and then and then um, take on b2 and say it's fine. And I feel like it might have been fine, but practically it's a bit it's a bit sketchy. Like, technically fine, practically questionable. Was kind of what I was feeling about. Where this, I think, is just all around very positive for me. Never mind, let's, let's drop back. 95, this will solidify my position. My rook's getting into the into his position. Big part of why I played h6 is to be able to play g5. No, you know, I, my knight can actually potentially cause some problems there.
slipped up there. Ah, nah, I let it slip. I let it slip. Ah, dang it. Ding, darn, dingity. I get so close. I, let, I get so close and then it slips away. fine though because my knight still goes to d5 and I'm just gonna pretend like everything's <laughs> hey yo d5 though my pawn structure is solid 100% solid free pawn free pawn no consequence let's go Free pawn, no consequence. All right, well, maybe a little consequence. Nah, no, 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 my knight, no, my knight gets to e4. We're, we're chilling. We are mad chilling here. I'm just gonna play fast and, and kind of pretend like I know what I'm doing, and uh, I think it could work. I could probably convince my opponent at least. Oh ho ho, GP bear, what? How's it going, friend? Kind of convincing, eh? But maybe it's still kind of interesting because his knight is struggling to escape. Okay, try and keep this knight contained. At least the best I can. Don't see the checkmate, so let's march the king. Ah, now 
I see it. Now I see it. Hmm. Maybe seven. Maybe you won't notice. Maybe. Oh, nine up four. Ah, oh, jeez. What a checkmate. Oh, is it watch party time? It probably is. Let's do it for a little bit. Let's see what is... Oh, the games did just start. Hey, yo. Magnus Carlton. Wait, let me change the views. Get the fuck screen. Wait, 6 4, you were playing in an arena? Oh. I got it. You were playing in a witty alien arena. Hey. I gotcha. Did not click when you first said it, as is now apparent by this conversation. Yeah, don't don't you always love a good Roy from Carlson? You know, life just feels better when you get a good Roy from Carlson. Question is, is he gonna clean up? If Carlson himself said winning in Blitz, like he'll think he'll it will excuse me, it'll be harder than in the rapid. Did he play this exact exact same line in the rapid? I didn't I didn't get to follow the rapid as much as I as I wanted to because of you know obvious obvious reasons of it starting at three in the morning. Play a 30 second before the end of the stream. Six four, maybe, maybe. I mean I make no promises, I'm gonna be honest. I make no promises because it's already stupid late. Bishop E6? I mean, I know Bishop E6 can be an idea, but here it feels, I don't know, a little bit strange. Thou shalt not make promises. Okay. <laughs> okay, 6-4. Dang, his opponents die for a three, three, three. What? What is? It? Is it three, two? Is that the time control? One sec, we gotta jump out here. Uh, that's where's. We they don't have tournament information. What the frick? Yeah, it's three, two. Okay. Yeah, he's down to a, under a minute already. Carlson just taking his time, making his way downtown. His opponents in the thinking again? Okay, come on, come on. You gotta play faster. Doesn't matter if you don't lose, if you flag. Wow, d4 by the computer, that's kind of a nasty move. Bishop d5, take, take. And it forces knight b8 because knight e7, bishop takes f6, destroys the pawn structure. Yeah, a4 is probably the more reasonable. Can I see what Sheparinov is doing? I will check after Carlson's game. Kind of focus here. 
See if Carlson can win. Not just the Rapid, but the Blitz yet again. Okay, okay. His opponent's picking up the pace now. Preparing a, maybe a G5 push. I don't think this is gonna... See how Carlson handles it. What, what should you play? Should you go for a D4 here? Or is D4 kind of out of place? I, I, I really don't know the Roy Lopez too well. <laughs> that, if that's not if that's not obvious before now. Nah, he's just calmly take on B5, play knight e3. Yeah, I think I think practically speaking, it's much better to not take. Because you just keep these squares for your knight and uh probably a bit easier. Okay, knight d5 was an interesting shot. Oh, knight d5 was a crazy shot. Knight d5, bishop takes. There's some sort of... Uh... Oh no, it wants bishop takes? Okay, it's, 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 it's reconsidering, but there are some crazy ideas possibly there. Carlson goes for, again, just kind of the more reasonable. Shepard Rehoff is winning. Is flagging ever done in these tournaments? I mean, you don't really flag, like, 3-2, you probably don't flag someone. Um, like, when you're down a bunch of material, like, that, like, a dirty flag, you, you, you won't get. But people definitely still flag in 3-2. Like, like, even amazing players. Like, uh, I mean, Title Tuesday is 3-1, but, like, Grishchuk, I played Grishchuk in Title Tuesday. He flagged in a, in, a, in a drawn position. Like, he was pushing for a win, and he just he just flagged in a drawn position. Like, it, it's definitely possible, even with increment. Okay. <laughs> this game's over. Fisher F5, done. Oh, that's a piece. Let's see. You said Cheparinov is winning? Wow, if this is true, there's a lot of equality happening. Why, why isn't it? Why are we not getting a Sheparinov off the search? What the heck? I, I don't know. My search. Wait, is Bobby losing? Is Bobby losing round one? Mr. Everybody's cheating in title Tuesday. I do much better against them over the board. No, no, no. 96. This isn't so easy. The computer definitely gonna like this for white with the material, but it's not so easy. Yeah. Miles, I agree. Fabi for the next world champ. Yeah, I agree. I like Fabi quite a bit. And he's had such a stellar year this last year. Like, he has by far had the, the best year of anybody. I mean, qualified for the candidates in every way under the sun. Like, I, I almost wish they allowed multi-qualification and you got to the candidates and it was just like, Fabi, 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 Fabi. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Took a minute for the DGT to catch up, but this is not good. What was E3 there? What? Why? What the heck? Jeopardine up one. Nice, MB. E3 hoping white pre-moved? I mean, kind of, yeah.
Dang, Bobby goes down round one. Brutal. Hey, Ronian should be winning against Baijin Shi. Wait, is this, did that really drop the evaluation? No, the computer's just freaking out for nothing. Nepo draws. Wow, Bobby down, Nepo a draw. Jan Kristoff should win this, right? Oh yeah, the Rooks. The computer's just taking a second to catch up. And Artemeya looks to be on his way to win. Dubov is winning. This, this surely the Dubov game already has a result. Danya commentates this event. Nice. <gasps> Dragon went down. The two queens? He lost the two queens? I don't even know who this guy is. Zilka? Oh, his opponent hit him with the brilliant bishop takes e6. Wow. Dang. Rich chick drew. Strong the map jar of one. But a save drew. Arjun drew. MDL drew. Boy. Yeah, it, it, does anyone know why Hikaru decided not to play in either of these events? Did he talk about it? Not sure. Dang. Wow, some crazy upsets this first round. I can't believe man, Bobby went down in the first round. I guess I'm gonna jump in. I'm gonna try and play another game while this is going on because I think the first round's done and it will just be getting the pairings up. Maybe he's disinterested. I don't know, that, that seems weird. I mean, cause, cause Naka's never won the, the, the Blitz, right? And it, like, it's a tough event. Like it's, even for someone as good as him, it's kind of understandable that he's never won it. Because, I mean, you, you look at Fedoseyev in the Rapid, like, Fedoseyev had a chance to tie for Carlson in the last round in the Rapid, but he had a, he had a couple of games that he was definitely just like a bit lucky. I mean, he still overall played very well, but yeah, a little bit of luck, and I think that's kind of the case with a lot of events like this, is it, you have to be skilled, but you also need a little luck most of the time. Okay, this is actually kind of nice. I'm threatening the bishop. He's going to take here. I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll take with my queen, but the queen is trapped. Because his only ability to block it is with that bishop, which he cannot do. Because of the pen. And even better, yeah, he has to take there with the bishop. The worst piece to take it with. That felt pretty good. Ah, maybe g4 is wrong, because now he does have some sort of bishop h4 ideas somewhere. But it, I mean, it's kind of hard for him to really make stuff happen, because like I have queen c8. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about, actually. Now that I say it.
just start taking stuff. Ooh. Pure horses. Nice. So pure. So horsey. I don't want to sneak and take there. No. And no, and no issues with f5 taking away the square for my king because of the pin. Which is quite helpful. Yeah, he'll go after that pawn, but I primarily want to rush this pawn because it's going to be more difficult. Uh, I, I think I can let him have that, actually. Wait a second, I take? If he takes, I have queen d4, yeah. We got him, we got, we got there. Okay, hurry and check, hurry and check. Still round one. Vita Racic. Remove H5. I'm confident. I'm confident. H5. Okay. Little C3. And he's just going to rush with Rook H8. That's fine. Because now I swap. And I start attacking the center. He played e5. He brought this on himself. Oh, he's going to have to bring the king out. All right. All right. All right. I mean, he's not dying. He might be able to get away with this. Vamps, you're back! How many monsters am I on right now? Um, this actually ran out a while ago. I, I keep, I keep, uh... <laughs> I have had a couple of times I've kind of put it to my mouth, like, optimistic, but... Optimism does not fill the monster. What are what are you doing? You went to bed. You went you went to bed like. Oh gosh. What time is it? <laughs> uh, you went to bed like three hours ago. Still no updates. I think I'm gonna stay and watch probably the second round of the World Blitz and then. I think I'm going to have to call it. And you're still here. You did go to sleep? Oh my gosh. I'm still here. I am. Yeah. It was a decision. I blame, I blame Sinister. Honestly. Can we just agree at this point that... Wait, what?
Really? What? No way, my guy. I believe in this. Zero percent. Zero percent. And that's no percent. Oh, gosh. He has King F8. What, what am I doing? I believe in what I'm doing zero percent now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I just totally spaced that. So back to the conversation at hand about it being freaking late. Uh, I'm starting to believe it. Although, can we go for Swindle? It does complicate the issue to play Rook D5. Oh, and he fell for it. All right. Well, at least at least we're not losing that's po that's that's positive and with the time situation i think i actually have good chances here with a minute up on the clock oh yeah all right dang it now i'm gonna lose a pawn Wait, am I gonna lose a pawn? Maybe I should lose a pawn. Oh no, 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 this is actually smart. <laughs> actually, <laughs> this is actually smart. That's <laughs> the title of this game. I don't take on E3. And then I'm actually trying to create an outside pass pawn. I I, I, I think I, I may even have an argument for having the better endgame. Uh, all of a sudden. Oh, gosh. So, I, I often say how much it bugs me when I, my opponents, I know, totally miss something. And, like, somehow by the skin of their teeth, they're able to save it. Uh, about that, I'm starting not to mind it. <laughs> when you miss something, but, you know, you're just, you're able to hold... Uh, I don't understand why you do what you do. I I sometimes don't either. Where was the win? This was ah uh, knight d three and knight f four. Yeah, so this is completely losing. It really is, but. Why did I give up my knight? Um, here? Uh, the problem is if, if I move my knight to attack the pawn, like, cause this, this is what he's going after. He's going after this pawn. If I move my knight going after his pawn, he just takes a moment to push this pawn. And the problem is this was the only square for my knight to go to attack this pawn. But now I cannot move this pawn because otherwise um, not my knight hangs. So that's why I played king e1 instead. Is uh, it's not about giving up my knight; it's about not losing the pawn. And then here, instead of ruining my pawns by taking, uh, I play f3. Squirrel plays, Squirtle plays chess. chess. Thank you for the follow. Did I see all that roughly? Uh, it wasn't the mo it wasn't the prettiest game. Uh, I don't know if I wait. They play double rounds. Wait, have they st wait? Frederick Spain. Why is this guy not at the World Blitz right now? Excuse me. Does he know? Did someone tell him it's happening? What the heck? This guy's good. That's pretty good. 29.55, wow. You can't buy that rating at a Kmart, I'll tell you that.
I actually, I actually kind of like my position. I like, I'm not saying I'm better, but I actually kind of like it. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, let's kick this and rook d8. Actually, I think it's worth it to kick this bishop back even further. Or at least to attempt to do so. Yeah, attempts, att attempt was because I thought he might do something like that. This is a weird position. That's what I know. And that is all I know. This is a weird position. Just a little bit funky. But we'll try and cook. He does want the trade, huh? All right, I'm okay to oblige. I'm okay to oblige the trade. Yeah, just this one. This is the only bit. This is my time to shine. Just one big dog and we're done. I really want to trade this light square bishop. I really just want to, because that, I, I mean, it's not like... I never have to worry about anything ever again if I trade the light square bishop, but it does help. He's he's spending a lot of time here, which is really good. Okay, he quickly plays b3. But let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. Rook d7 to solidify. I'm gonna be lame. I'm gonna be lame. It's on him. It's on him to prove this position. I do not need to prove this. Ah, and he offers me the draw. That's fair. That's fair. If it, it is, it is a draw, and I can play to flag him. But I, I definitely think in this situation, I'm okay with the draw because that's uh, it means he's more likely to give me a rematch. <laughs> Ugh. But we got the draw. We got the draw. That's not too bad. Could have been better, but it's not too bad.
Hmm. Feels like G5 could be incoming. But possibly I should wait until it actually happens before I worry too much about it. G5, I play H3 at some point. I think. I think, I think. Okay, protect the pawn against knight d5 ideas. Just go for trust, he will give you reading. There you go. Don't need to be good, just need to not be terrible. Okay, but this pawn? What about that pawn, huh? Okay, that's what you say about that pawn? Hmm, that's a fair response about that pawn. That is fair. I mean, what a lovely pawn structure, am I right? I'm threatening here, and if he plays like Queen A8 or Queen... I think... I can sort of challenge the light squares with B5. It's kind of interesting, in a very funky way. No, no, he had he had knight g seven. If I if I went for the the draw there, sadly. But am I against going for draws? I am not. Uh, no, I feel like this is the right way. Oh, that's actually... Hey, what is he... How is he defending this? That seems kind of annoying for him. What? Okay, he's just accepting it. Yeah, kind of strangely enough, it's it's hard for him to find a a useful move. Keep dancing, keep dancing. Two draws! Uh, 
I would give him more. Uh, he might be a little upset, but uh, the the second round of the blitz is happening. I was already late. I crossed 2700. I got back there after an absolute tilt of the night. And uh, guy, we didn't do it by winning games, but let, we can draw. That's fine. We can draw him against Frederick Spain. <laughs> uh pablo i i'm i think i'm gonna finish i'm gonna i'm gonna pull up these games <gasps> magnus is what magnus is losing or worse maybe not losing worse uh i think i'm gonna watch this and then call it a night watch this and then call it because it has been a freaking six hour stream just about so you know, we're jamming. We're, we're jamming. We're chilling. No 30 second. Oh, we, we, already, we already played lots. 6-4. We already played lots tonight. And you, you enjoyed it so much. I'm surprised you want 30 seconds. Okay. Penis? Wait, what was the slip here? Oh, wait. Should I? I didn't change the video. I apologize. What was the slip? Excuse me? What about Bishop B4? What the heck? No way both players missed this. Oh my goodness. They're feeling the pressure, my gosh. I mean, Blitz is tough, but now you just, you play, you play King E3, G4, and you start to untangle a bit. King C3, what? Who told you how to play? King C3? Dude, he's just playing for a draw. Are you kidding me? Come on, play for a win. King E3, it's good for your health, I promise. Ah, I mean, Bishop E4, King... Oh my goodness, it's it's fine. It's Blitz. I've played some absolute trash Blitz tonight, so I, I should shut up. But, like, King E3, though. But, like, King E3, though. That, I, I don't know. Like, instinctively, that that's such the move that... I don't know why. Why would you play King C3? Like, what is the king doing? What is the king doing here? Can we talk about it? <laughs> you mean, I know what you're thinking. He wants Magnus to lose. No, I don't. I actually want Magnus to win, but I just, like... Yeah, okay. I'm just being a judgmental jerk. I'll, I'll shut up now. I, 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 I expect this to be a draw. I think he's going to play Rook D7. Yeah, he's going to play Rook D7, and he's just going for the draw. Hey, I get it. You're playing Magnus. You're playing Magnus. You have a chance to draw. You, you know, you get in your head. You get in your head for sure. Don't do it. Don't do it. A draw. <gasps> he took F7. What? Now you're gonna play for a win? <laughs> uh. Okay. Cool. I mean, he is technically. If anyone's pushing for a win, it's him. But would I have done that in his shoes? I don't know. I would have played King E3. I'll tell you that. I I think Bishop E4 is kind of understandable because it's like Magnus Carlsen. You know, blunders it. You don't expect that type of blunder from Magnus Carlsen, but I mean, even then, like when I played when I played Magnus Carlsen in Title Tuesday, that's kind of what happened. Like he was he was kind of positionally outplaying me, and then I caught him on some tactic and won a piece. Um, I think it was a piece for a pawn. Now positionally, he was good enough that like it was still it was still um, kind of intense and. I mean, but in the in the end, we ended up drawing. So I don't know. It's hard. He's good. He holds. He holds. Okay, Magnus with the draw. 
Artemey wait, what? What happens here? Artemeyev? When Oh I don't know if it was super loud for you guys too, but that was that was scary. On Kristoff. Drawing but two bishops, he's probably pushing for a win. Harkonian's losing! Whoa! No. Are you kidding me right now? Harkonian, don't do it. Harkonian, don't do it. Come on. You hold these. I mean, you probably don't, but please do, because I like you. You're such a good- oh, wait, wait. No, oh, the computer's just- the computer's just adjusting. I'm not gonna get excited. I've been hurt too many times by the computer. This is still, yeah. Wait, Vadim. Vadim, I don't even know who this Yehu is. But he's winning. What? A lot's happening in Duda's game. I think this is just kind of solid, though. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I would have thought Duda would win. Oh, now, yeah, draw. But now I kind of expect a draw. Ah, oh, Ronin did lose. No. And I, he's gone. Oh, my goodness. So, so who's perfect? Artemeyev, Dubov, Rapport. Something got blundered there. You take a look. Are you sure it wasn't just the computer adjusting for a moment? The computer, oh, uh, maybe, maybe a little bit. F takes G five. Nah, I think, I think maybe it really was just the computer. Maybe a slight chance with Rook H eight here, which I don't fully understand, but I guess there's a slight chance. Uh, Oh wow, Duda was completely winning for a brief moment, really early. Wow, so many upsets. I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is. I'm not I'm not positive there, but you know, I, all this talk, all this talk about people in Title Tuesdays, you know, doing so well, lower rated players that you don't expect, and then, and then you see this, and already so many upsets. Like, sometimes I just feel like the top players are kind of in their head about the whole thing. I think the top players, sometimes, honest take, I think some of the top players don't play lower rated players enough. Uh, and, and over the board. And, and so I think it's just it's just kind of a weird psychological experience for them when they then have to come to some of these events and they're playing these lower rated players. Um, all right, well, you know, it's been it's been it's been a blast. It's been a wonderful stream. It's been a jam. It's we've had our ups and downs. We've had six four. We've had Sinister Magnus. We've had a lot of Sabotage. We've had Vamps. Go to sleep and come back. Uh, you know, what, what more do you want out of a stream? Like, we literally have a little bit of everything. So many raids. So many raids. If you're still here from the raids, welcome. Glad glad you stayed. I, uh, Six Wars had a lot of downs. It's okay. You know the thing about reactions there's an equal and opposite reaction so you'll you'll get there six four i believe and uh i'm gonna i'm gonna hit you with this uh i'm gonna send you off to king slayer slump i'm gonna stop talking <laughs> hit you with the raid send you in the direction of king slayer you guys go go have an absolute blast 
Send them some love. Enjoy the world blitz. I'm freaking going to bed. Yeah, you guys take care. Thank you so much for being here.